The ultimate animal campaigns are, yeah, not, not super impressed with what I saw, frankly. Um, gi given, gi given how much time has progressed between when the first alpha of the, of the game came out, and then when they promised the first alpha of the campaign, and then when they delivered the first alpha of the campaign, there's a long development time in there, and they have not produced <laughs> like very much work. Um, or, or like very high quality. Um, I tried it out. Didn't really like it. Can I actually set a limit to the airbase? You can, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't apply to the AI. It only applies to the player. So you can limit how big your air bases can get, but not how big the AI bases can get. So I think they still could go up to a hundred a pop. It could be real good. I, I, I mean, I played it. I, I disagree. Um, I know some people have been have been enjoying it, but I couldn't. I, I tried it to for, for my, for my flavor. It, it just ain't there yet. Your mother's a bitch. And I don't know if, <laughs> frankly, I've lost faith in that company's ability to produce a good product. Um, I really love. Ultimate General and Ultimate General Civil War. Ultimate General Civil War is probably in my top 10 favorite games I've ever played. But Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail is not great. Ultimate Animal Dreadnoughts ain't getting anywhere. Um, they announced Ultimate Ultimate General American Revolution uh, quite a while ago. With And there's been no updates. Um, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I hope for the best. Because I know they're capable of making amazing games that I love, but I'm not seeing. I haven't seen it for a long time. Uh, but anyway, um, go for this run. Just played. We're just playing Japan. Uh, I changed up some settings a little bit, so we're going to try to get to the point in the game where we can shred air, uh, airplanes with our anti-aircraft guns. So we do. All right, let's get set up. Research, 12%. Why would you ever not set it as high as it could go? Why even give me the option of changing it, honestly? <laughs> well, I, I got maybe you get to the point in the game where you don't think uh, technology is, you know, getting new technology is that important and you're more interested in getting hulls out. Ever see quid torpedo launchers? I've, I don't think I've ever seen those ever myself. I don't think I've ever seen quintuple mounts. I've only ever got up to quad. Um, but being as we're playing as Japan, we're going to be doing... Well, I don't really like subs, so we'll set that to low. Uh, torpedoes. Light forces. Um, I had to put something else down. I feel like gun quality is going to be a good one for us this time, too. But it's a... Means I gotta find two things to turn down. Uh, I will turn down. Wait, hang on. Do we even? Is play historical and turn down damage Take all control? The Pacifics. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's uh. <laughs> Fuck, fuck it, why not? Let's have some fun. Let's turn our ships into kindling. It'll it, it'll be fun, right? Um, oh, it means one more. I'm gonna turn projectile design down. Also, we'll have good guns, but bad bad shells. What I'm inter what, what is interesting is I don't see HE shells on there. That's normally something that's on the list, isn't it? All right, that's good. Uh, okay. Re reserve everything to save on money. Oh my god, I'm poor. Oh my god. Oh, so poor. Off screen, I've been playing as Germany, and I've conquered almost the entire planet. Like, I've had ridiculously successful wars in the game I was playing off screen. So my, my, like, my yearly budget during quiet periods is like 600,000. And now I'm going down to 148. Oh, I'm so poor. Oh, so poor. 
Tried the full random tech mod, Hilarious Chaos, Quad 18 by 1905, Radar the first three months. Oh uh, no, that doesn't actually sound like something I would I would enjoy. That seems like it would be um, like, like fun for for five minutes for the lulls, but not for sitting down for, you know, 30 hours and playing through the whole game. Try the battleship gun CA when you get the guns. Oh, uh, battle battleship gun CA. Uh, so what? Uh, maybe, maybe. Is that one of those things where you gotta like really? Who <laughs> you gotta like game the designer to get it to work? I think it is. Basically, a coastal defense ship. What do I have right now? I only got up to 10. Oh my god! Oh! I only have minus one 10 inch guns. Oh, you know what we could do? I was just thinking of this. You know what we could do this run? Um. Some people, uh, I think it was uh, Oak Tree was saying that he played a run before that was a lot of fun where every single time the game gave him a plus prestige option, he had to take it. I'm, I'm playing as a belligerent Japan, uh, you know, in the, the 1900s. Uh, we, could do, we could do an all prestige run. Well, that sounds fine to me. That's so that sounds good. What do we got building right now? Ah, oh, well, at least it's got two inches of deck armor. Kamikaze destroyers. I. I would be totally down for that if it was easier to ram ships. It's it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun ram ramming enemy ships. It really is. But given the fact that when you get near an enemy ship, you do th the, the ships do that thing where they, they, they do the wiggle waggle and you lose a lot of your speed. And then a lot of times you can kind of pass through the um, uh, the actual like image of the ship and not hit it. It's, it's hard to hit enemy ships on purpose. What I've never seen, but I know is in theory possible, is if you're playing as Japan and you are fascist and you are losing a war and you have airplanes and they are within range of enemy ships they can kamikaze probably change your name from blaze dark sword dirty degenerate you are formerly dark sword good to know because otherwise i would have thought you were new thanks for letting me know And so, kamikazes are possible, but I've never seen it, because you have to be losing. But, I mean, I have lost, I have lost wars on stream before, depending on how much alcohol is involved. Um, so, let's, oh my god, Iki? It's all one class, that's actually kind of nice. Um... Four 12 inch guns, 12 6 inch guns, 10 3 inch guns. These are a little bit better than these. These are uh, 13 2 at 17. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to scrap these. Sorry, I got. I'm going to scrap these. To save myself some money. We're not even... We we're too poor to even build larger docks right now. Oh, oh my god, I'm so poor. Oh my god, I'm so poor. Seriously, in my Germany game, I had 50 Corvettes. This whole fleet is only 28 ships. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so poor. Oh my god, I'm so poor. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, we're gonna do the normal thing I do, which is a little bit of... 
just just a just a light sprinkling of spies across the planet because you never know who you can thieve from. Specifically, dying because kamikaze aircraft speed payload no defense. Uh, well, the, well, the thing about that is that you can o you can only specify what you want them to focus on, and, and not what you do not want them to focus on for uh for for positives in other areas, and you don't control the aircraft at all in the game. Uh, like like you you could you you could you, your extent of control is go over there. So, I have no idea. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just random chance if your planes are near an enemy ship. So, you can't specify specific planes to go on a kamikaze attack. It, it, it would just any planes with near an enemy ship have a chance of doing it. So, there wouldn't be any point in specifically designing kamikaze aircraft. Because chances are, even if you did do that and then equipped them into your planes, they would go over there and drop the bomb load, then all your fighters would just be like, Brown. But anywho. Funny if you did a run where you agree with every dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When when chat does, uh, says things like that, they, they have no offense, but you don't really think it through that much. Um, you know, like, what, one rough thing happening in the stream, uh, that, that's, you know, frustrating is, is funny once, but if, like, if you're agreeing to a treaty every few years and, you know, like, 80% of your capital ships are getting destroyed because you're constantly agreeing to treaties, it's not, fu it's not fun to play, it ain't fun to watch after a couple times. All those people who are getting ships named after them are never going to actually have those ships seen in combat because they're going to get named and then they're never going to co get completed and they're just going to get scrapped. It sounds funny on paper, but it's not in practice. Same thing with like the the like like the oh like I want to see the pure chaos of uh, the uh, the tech runs. It's like yeah yeah it's fun on paper for five minutes. But not for actually sitting down and trying to play the game for a long time. Tr trust me, trust me. I know <laughs> how to make the game interesting, which is why, like, when I'm when I'm I'm trolling for ideas, especially like with with like RimWorld. Oh, is that in Southeast Asia? And people are throwing out ideas for for RimWorld runs. Normally, the, the ideas people come up with are, hey, what if you just roll your face across the keyboard? It's like, yeah, it would be funny. For five minutes. And then the audience would leave because it would be boring and frustrating and nobody would want to watch it. All right, let's get going here. Uh, send me another Assange. Um, oh, these are, these are for the British. Uh, actually, no. Oh, God. Tensions leading to wars. What are these? A prestige one? Budget tension. I don't want to go to war for a while. Docs. Yeah, I, I couldn't do docs on the first month. I didn't have enough money. Uh, oh, God. If I... If I negotiate a treaty, we lose budget usually. Oh, I'm already so poor. No, 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 no. Arm for war. Yeah, I'm already too poor for that. Spy from the... Oh, fucking hell. That's, that's a prestige one, isn't it? Oh, no, it's budget and tension. So I do have options with these. I thought that was prestige, too. Oh, God, that's a prestige one for certain. Because that's budget minus minus. Oh, that one's neutral and that one's prestige plus... Okay, ah, fuck you. I don't want to build anything for a little while, frankly. Um, all right. Uh, fuck me. Um, so we have a 400-ton destroyer and a 500-ton destroyer. And I think 600-ton destroyers are attack, right? 
Mr. Booze, Mr. B double yeah. Z. Alright, uh fifteen fucking destroyers. Um uh, well, okay. Hmm. I, I, hear me out. I said I would have to accept the, the highest prestige option. I did not say I had to actually follow through. I feel like if I, I, I feel like if I told him to fuck off, it's disingenuous though. I feel, I feel like it's disingenuous because th then I'm going to end up with negative prestige. I feel like that's disingenuous. Oh, oh, fuck you and your 15 destroyers, you bitch. That was 12. Oh, I have no idea why this is hard capped at 12. I Why hard cap this number at all? I would like to... Oftentimes, I want to build more than 12 ships at a time. All right, okay. Um, also, let's go ahead and... What do we got for coastal fortifications? I'm gonna knock the. I'm gonna scrap the four-inch coastal fortifications. I don't find those useful. Uh, all right. So right now we've got four in Japan and none anywhere else. Um. This area sees a lot of action. So I'm gonna put four over there. I'll put four in Hokkaido. And then I will put a 10 inch coastal battery. Well, do we want to wait for bigger ones? Maybe we'll wait for bigger ones. Uh, that's okay. For now. Nigeria. Okay. Slump of the economy has led to widespread unemployment and poverty. Fucking poor people. Uh, let's see. So, budget and prestige down. Budget down. Budget and prestige up. Okay, budget down, prestige up. So we have to take this one. Oh god, I don't want to get into an early war. I want to get a couple things under my belt before we war. Reduced, reduced financing to the Navy. Uh, that's budget down, prestige up. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Navy will be happy <laughs> to man the new yacht. How much is that gonna hurt? 172. That isn't too bad. 8k. That isn't too bad. Also, man, do I need. Be oh, I don't have any capable light cruisers. Oh, they're ass. That's a little bit better, but these ones are ass. Oh, my navy is so terrible. Yeah, I can't. I can't get into a war early on. I get my ass handed to me. Oh no. Oh, no. All right. Reserve that. Praise for the uh, number of destroyers. There's the coastal fortifications. Formosa and Hokkaido. Coronation Review has been a collision with us. And, uh, one of our ships and one from Russia. Tension. I can't take a negative prestige, so I gotta take the tension. Okay, okay. Make sure everybody's on reserve. Uh, one more armored cruiser coming. Fuck you. <laughs> Zero months. A what, eh? So, armored cruisers, I got the Asa. Oh, they're all Asamas, so they're all the same. Two 9-inch guns, 16 6-inch guns, 12 3-inch guns. Got more to see. No, we ran to the end of the game. Uh, it was 19... We, by happenstance, we ran, we ran to 1955. 
was when we ended the, the game before. So what I did this time was I turned it from 30% tech to 40% tech uh, to try to get some more technology fired before the game runs out of days. All right, my first, so we're what was my first dock, so we're just past one year into the game. Age of is caught in Germany. Uh, yeah, we got it. We got to take national hero and keep those docks coming. Bork, then I started the US. Do we have TDs that have no torpedoes? I don't think that's possible. Um, I'm pretty sure destroyers have to have torpedoes, or it's an illegal design. Yeah, that's an illegal... That's a Corvette, then. <laughs> See, Admiral Penny. Uh, yeah, well, you're gonna do that later. Uh, I mean, honestly, the pissiest person right now is Russia. And they're the ones I'm... Uh, uh, Russia is playing with Japan. Russia's a good early um, combat because they do have three possessions you can take. All right, destroyers are pop. So we're gonna have a lot of these new dis these these really little destroyers. I I would like to wait until we have like all technology pop before laying down any new ships. Um, but it doesn't look like that's happening because if I don't spend my money, they're gonna take it away from me. <laughs> they're they're gonna confiscate my cash if I don't start spending. Um. Yeah. So let's design a combat capable light cruiser rule um rule all of asia when i'm playing as japan i do like to focus on asia um i have done a japan run where i just kind of colonized the mediterranean um but that was honestly really hard to hold on to um it led to a lot of like you know, ships running, you know, running their engines down and getting sunk in the Mediterranean because they were so far from home. All right, so let's put in an array of torpedoes. Uh, shoot for I like, I like chonky light cruisers. So, I, uh, <laughs> world says, hey, Trent, how you doing? Um, so, I, I tend to go to five to 6,000 tons pretty early on in the game, just because uh, I, I have kind of found that if the larger you make a ship, the longer you can keep it in, in the fleet. Um, you can kind of... There, there, there's wiggle room for future improvements in the design if you make them bigger. But if you make them a little smaller and try to try to spread them out, then um, then there's less wiggle room to try to improve them later. So let's uh, let, let's make ourselves a a, a combat capable light cruiser here. Uh, so no, obviously no torpedo protection yet. We will need colonial cruisers in the future too. Um, I, oh my god, with only a thousand tons remaining with no guns on here, I doubt we'll be able to get this thing up to 24 knots. Oh my god, no. Um, what, what are the current ones are rated for 21, so 22 is an improvement. Uh, there's only one and a half on the deck, which means it needs more deck, oh, <laughs> needs more deck armor. All right, all right. Okay, okay, let's see what we can get on here. Um, let's add on some turrets. Well, let's set this to... Ugh. Oh, minus one quality. We'll go with five-inch guns. Forward, aft. Um, what do we want to put on here? Let's do port forward, starboard forward, port aft, starboard aft like that I like I like that configuration and then we will add on some casement mounted four inch guns Ooh, I can just get that in there okay 
It's not bad. Tech specialization for this run, survivability, gun size, or something else. Uh, because this is Japan, we're going light forces and torpedo warfare. So, you know, we're, go we're going full, like, 16 torpedoes spread, insane uh, destroyer action. And uh, I put it into... Um, uh, gun, uh, 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 high quality guns and low quality shells. So we'll see how that that works out for us. Uh, let's put on the fire control positions. And we got 33 tons remaining for a couple more shells in there. We'll go to 155. And leave uh, 19 tons. And that's all right. Okay, so... Oops. I hit the wrong button and cleared out the queue. That's my bad. Uh, sorry, friends. So rejoin the queue for me. Sorry. Yeah, the queue pick button and the queue clear button are adjacent to each other and I just fat fingered the wrong button. That's my bad. I'll give you guys a sec to get in the queue there. And then we'll, uh, we'll name it. It's actually not a bad design. It's pretty good. We'll do. Interesting. Right? That's Isn't a, that really nice? That's a, that's a nice vet. Is it, is it, these are just razors, aren't they? No. You just put those in the bathroom. Um, also, we got some stuff from... Cool. All right, let's... Uh, the queue has slowed down a little bit, so we're going to hit the right button this time. Hey! Big Min gets a cruiser again, but they actually get to do something. Interesting. Has no funnel. Ah, here. <laughs> um, uh, let's, uh, let's do this. It's a little off. That's even more off. Hey, there we go. You want funnels? I'll give you funnels. Oh, well, I never did this before. Hey, actually, it's pretty name? lined up. There Nautius we go. Maximus. <laughs> More funnels. BCs could fill the role of cruisers in cruising games. Uh, yes, that us honestly t tends to be why I don't uh, like to build battle cruisers. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I don't like to build battle cruisers. Um, because, uh, oftentimes when you get later into the game, they spawn in the places where cruisers would be and then just get blasted in the tits by enemy aircraft before you can even get any, any assistance over to them. All right. So, uh, ooh, is that 147 France, you were asked why journals come out the visiting ships. Prestige down. Neutral prestige up. Taking the prestige up. Alright. Now we can build these. So I need to spend about eight grand. So I'll build eight. There we go. That that will replace the Izumis and the one uh, Chioda. Because I hate them all. nice oh sorry, this is pretty lit so far yeah yeah Drin, um this this is what the, what this is right here this is a preview of the the updated ship designer for hearts of iron 4 that's what this is um uh so so what we're gonna what, I, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be forcing every player to go through this <laughs> 
Uh, all right, eight inch guns of quality one. It's nice to have a caliber that is useful that is not shit. So what I'm gonna do first uh, is we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna build some eight inch coastal batteries around because these are of good quality. Spread those out. Hokkaido, Japan, Formosa, okay. The, uh, those are a lot of consonants, Russian. Empress Catherine Velikiaia. There we go. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Uh, it's a little thin on the belt. But at this stage of the game, uh, guns suck, AP shells suck. So armor is less, less useful. It's actually not a bad design for early, early game. Hydrostatic valves, so better torpedoes. So we got, we did have a technology pop, but not anything that's going to help us out too much. Armor development, so we have Crip armor now. Fleet tactics. Now, before now, we didn't know what tactics were. The London. Which I don't actually think I've ever seen pop as a name for a British ship. Um... Looks like they traded one caliber of gun for one extra knot in speed from the um, the Russian design, basically. New docks. Uh, they want to build another big man in 20 months at 10% discount. I will take it. Scandal involving some French dignitaries. I um, I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb. It's good. It's it's, it's France, in Japan. What, okay, so what would be embarrassing to be, uh, well, I, you know, you know, we don't even, we don't even pontificate. The embarrassment is that they were French. Use it to embarrass France. It's not a prestige one, but I'll still take it all the same. Bigger destroyers. Not that I have the money to spend right now. Alright, uh, and these will be done in two months. That'll free up a lot of cash. U.S. is offering to sell me the rights to hydraulic recoil. That's a rate of fire improvement. I will take it. And there's the 8-inch coastal batteries. Spy <laughs> yeah, okay, the French are really futzing around here, aren't they? Uh, we have to take budget increase... Or, um, not budget increases. We have to take prestige increases, but still. France is a good person to fuck with. And uh, there, there's the budget balanced. Uh, given the fact that we have good quality 8-inch guns now, I should probably try to build new armored cruisers. No one else, France? Uh, they own a bunch of stuff. I think they have ch some China, too. Yeah, they got a ton of stuff down here. So they got three different possessions in, in Vietnam, one in China, and then a couple in the South Pacific. They got a lot of stuff. And I think oil has a good chance of firing in Tonkin, maybe? I don't remember where, but oil has a good chance of firing. Definitely in Borneo and um, and Sumatra, but one of these ones has a chance of firing oil. All right. Why did my budget go down? <laughs> Prime Minister floats the idea of a shooting competition for all ships of the Navy. Oh, shit. I missed a couple of months on docks. Um, sure. Coincidence rangefinder for an accuracy improvement. Docks. And once these get a little bit closer to being finished, we'll start doing some armored cruisers. But we don't have the money to do them both at the same time. Uh, Ill-considered statement about so Italy. Bitch. Budget up, prestige down, tension up. Oh, God! Yeah, those fucking Italians! Again, the rules are we have to take the best prestige option at all times. 
Oh, they didn't actually get that mad about that. I thought that'd be a little bit more tension. Look at how... Look at the different construction. So all of these were started at the same time except for this one. And some are at 8, some are at 9, one's at 11, and one's at 12. I'm just going to put this out there. Those tensions aren't low. Those are medium at best. Why fight Italy? They don't have anything. Uh, well, I'll fight anybody for Your loans. A bitch. But Italy's got stuff that you can steal. Centric scientist uh, of doubtful repute offers to sell us the latest invention in hull construction for a million dollars. Um, I'll do it. Italy's got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, um, five bits you can steal because you can't take uh, east or west of Italy, but you can take all the rest of it. Also, the Italians are fun to punch. It's almost, it's, it's like uh, Austria-Hungary. Sometimes you just want an easy fight. Oh, we got a little green screen. Huh, camera is all sorts of off today. Oh, you know what I might, you know what? Yeah. I messed with this. I was messing with the zoom earlier. We were, ah, that's what it was. I was um. I was futzing around uh with the the camera earlier today, and I I messed with the zoom. I was like, and that's what was that's what was different in the camera. Can't take Sicily. Uh, I can't remember what you can and can't take. I thought you could take Sicily, but I know you could take the rest because I've done it before. And fight, fighting in the meta is annoying, but only once it's filled with airplanes. So for most of the game, you're fine. Great screen sizzle, best kind of sizzle. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, I thought this sizzle was the best sizzle. All right, that's the kind of commentary that got me a job in the industry. Uh, but yeah, you know, like, I'll, I'll fight anybody for anything. Like, fucking Austria-Hungary doesn't really have anything. I think you could only take Dalmatia. I think that's the only thing you could take from them. I'll still punch the shit out of them for lulls. Sometimes, sometimes you just want to go fight a baby. You don't always want to get into a knockdown, drag-out fight with the British. Sometimes you just want to go slap them around a little bit. Adding the last of the wave streams to series of YouTube. Not the last one, but yes to this one. New cruiser from French. What is it with the French? Jesus Christ. Let's see. That's budget up, prestige down. Uh, prestige up, tension up. Okay. we uh, Okay. The French, the French ships are crap. Power rammers. All right. So it might be the French we're going to be fighting first. Still take war reps. Um, yeah, war reps. Um, uh, unspent war reps is an increase in oh my god, in uh, overall budget, and you can steal ships too. Sometimes they have ones that don't completely suck ass. Ras rage just dropped. I, I don't even know. It just went by so quickly. Uh, it was about a few, twenty. Because YouTube comments can't handle anything uh, involving this essay. Yes, I don't. I don't feel like that. I don't, even okay, I will put this out there. I haven't read a YouTube comment in three years, but I don't, I don't want to poke the bear. Uh, but thanks, Wrath Rage, for dropping a bunch of dongles on chat there. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um. Uh oh. I was going to mute the, uh, <laughs> I was going to mute the, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the sound effects because they're just going to keep going and going and going. The worst, weirdest comments you ever got. Uh, honestly, I can't remember. I don't know.
the, I mean, I like I used to read every single comment for years and years and years. I read every single comment, and you know, after a little while, they all just blend together and they go in, they go in one side and out the other. And you just, you, they don't, they don't stick. Um, I do vividly recall one argument that happened in the comment section once. It was um, right after. It was right after the first um, stream I did of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and somebody in the comment section was was talking about the often uh, often quoted but completely inaccurate um, assumption that battleships don't fire all of their guns at the same time because if they did, they would capsize themselves. And I remember I responded, I was like, "That ain't true. That's not a thing." And um, and the person was very, very vocally adamant that it was indeed the correct assumption. And I was like, can, can you point to a single incident of that ever happening? No. Okay, can, can you give me any anecdotal evidence? Well, it was like one of the battleships that was doing shore bombardment at, uh, at Normandy had to uh, flood, flood some of their little, like uh, ballast tanks on one side to give them more weight on the opposite side of the ship so that the guns wouldn't capsize the ship and i was like hold up i know what you're talking about what they did was they they flooded one side of the ship to increase the angle of elevation of the guns to get more range so they could hit targets further inland and furthermore if you flood the left side of the ship and then fire the gun the other direction you would then be increasing the chance of capsizing it, not decreasing it. And and they were like, no, you're wrong. I'm, a, I'm right, you're wrong. It went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Water is heavy, right? Yes. So the force of the water pushing against the side of the hull aggregate is the force that would need to be overcome by a significant margin to force the ship to cap capsize, correct? Yes. And there is a paper online. You can go, you can look it up. There's a paper online for someone who did who did the math on it. And, and, and then the conversation went from there. It was like, okay, so that means the force of the guns firing would have to be greater than the force of the water pressing go against the hill uh, against, against the hull yes okay so the weight of the shells is x yes this is the amount of shells being fired in one salvo yes that is like 0.01 percent of the total weight of the water being pushed up against the side of the hull minus the fact that ships are built with recoil system, so you're not directly applying that force because in a leverage position onto the side of the hull. And it's like going through all this step by step, and and the person just would not accept the fact that it would be impossible for a ship to capsize itself by doing that. And a after a while, I was just like, I linked up the the like the mathematical article online of someone figuring this out that it was impossible. But after after a while. I was just like, I'm out, I'm out, I'm getting out of the, <laughs> I'm out, and I just, I just left. I was like, this person, this person's clearly an idiot. I'm gone. Oh my god. Whoo. But that was one that stuck in my mind because that was just one of those people who were just like, nope, logic's not for me. Uh, eventually, sex is trying to prove it to be marginal value in hull construction. Eh, it's fine. Give up arguing with people online. Oh yeah, no, there's no point in it anymore. Absolutely no point in it. Now, now that me and you are, are in positions of power, we just wield it over the normies and let the band hammer just hang over everyone's head at all times. It's like, oh, you want to be stupid on the internet? <laughs> Boom. Regional war seems imminent in Asia. Yeah, it's because I keep stoking doodlies. Uh, let's continue to stoke the doodlies. Uh, oh, okay. Apparently Germany got upset about that. Although Germany does have colonies to steal. So 
They've got Sing Tao, right? No, is it Sing Tao? Sing Tao, right? Yeah, Sing Tao. Uh, and a couple colonies over here, because this is pre-World War I, so they still have their colonial possessions. Spy from Italy? Well, obviously we have... Well, uh, this is not one... I, I, the, the, the rules are I have to take prestige options. This is a budget intention option, but what are they going to do about it? What is Italy going to do about it? Uh, three, four, five months to start finishing these. So let's start the design of a new armored cruiser armed with our high-quality 8-inch guns. Uh, now, I don't think there's any way for me to get more than four on here. I don't think I can do... I think they're too big to put in casements. Yeah, you can only do that in set with seven or smaller. So that's too big. And I don't think I could do wing guns and turrets. No. Okay. So I can't. There's there's no way for me to get more than four of these guns on the hull right now. Back to Bob forgets. Oh yeah, no. I mean that, that's obviously not for the game we're playing right now. But I mean you could you you, you, you could imagine. Right, right. The goal of this game is to play as Japan and kick some ass. Um, yeah, we can't we can't get bigger guns in there. Oh, God. The six-inch guns are of negative one quality, which is ass. So I think we'll lower that to fives, but then just, just fill her out. Secondary's up. All right. Uh, that, that is how much armor I would like on this ship. And it's only at 12,000 tons. So there's room for increasing the displacement. 14 and a half ain't bad. It's, it's workable. I don't like 23 knots, but I don't like 22 knots more. Because that's, that's pretty slow. And, well. 24 is possible. I do 24 knots at, at 15,000 tons. You uh, about 15 to 16,000 tons is how uh, is is the um uh the, the 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 size I like to keep my armored cruiser. Engine pr uh, priority could save. Yeah, engine priority could save tons, but that also means the ship is more prone to breakdowns, which is bad on an early coal-fired ship, because that just means the engines are going to break down all the time. Oh, uh, we need to lose the tertiaries. Don't need those. Eh, in fact, I can, I can make this either. I can either give it more ammo or make it a little smaller. Uh, probably do both. Nah, I think I'll keep it at 15. One of those. Let's add on the torpedoes that I like. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. I will go up to 150. Scrub guy, thanks for the doodlies as well. People are just dropping all sorts of donglies on chat today. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. We're sorry, but I ever got this is one guy was that uh, thinks the Bismarck was unsinkable from gunfire. Ah, <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> All ships are sinkable from everything if you try hard enough. Aw, oh, son of a bitch! I forgot! God damn it! We only have 12,000 ton, 12, ton docks. I'll I can build them in the US.
I can I can build them in the U.S. We love you. Shut up, baby. I know it. How much ammo do I have to lose? Oh, I have to go down to a hundred. Uh, God, I don't want fourteen thousand nine hundred tons. That bugs me. That's okay. We can put so we, we we because the U.S. has better sixes. We could try to steal their sixes. That's that's fine. Uh, change of government in France has the potential to reduce tensions. Fair words, but the, the the policies of the French have always been a threat to world peace and stability. Well, we unlocked 11-inch guns. They're ass, but we unlocked them. And there's the cruisers starting to pop off and the Nishin. Um, I'd like four of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I can afford that. Major Arm Firms wants to sell. Ah, there we go. Scribe guy, thank you very much. Bet the surprise attack nets AB. A, a B? What's AB? Um, those, surprise, th those fucking torpedo nets are really good at eating torpedoes. I will give them that, though. Uh, strong, strong arms industry. Obviously, we're gonna take that. Wow, that pissed off nobody. There's the new docks. Cruisers are popping off. Can, hey, that was that was a two thousand ton um doodly there. We went from twelve to or twelve to fourteen. Beautiful. That helps out. Uh, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Those are an okay design for an early armored cruiser too. So we'll be able to keep those in service for a while as long as they don't hit a mine. They're finishing the working up. World crews of our young cadets are planned. Uh, we have to take prestige options. Normally, I would take the budget up, prestige down, but we agree that we have to take prestige options. Pissing off the Germans. Well, ooh, most likely to be an enemy in a future war. Budget tension, but okay, we can't take this to the middle one. Budget tension. Uh, I, I'm, just, I'm not going to poke at anybody specifically. So I'm going to say they're prepared to, prepare to fight a war against any opponent. Ooh, the Germans are getting pissy. Our, 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 our first technology that actually affects like construction. 1% weight saving on machinery. All right. Yeah, we get I've, the, the budget be balanced Four under construction. Basically breaking even right now. All right. So, um, we got all the big bins done. Wow, I built a lot. I thought I built... Wow, I did build a lot of those. I got eight of these bad boys. Not bad, not bad. Uh, alrighty. I'm going to get rid of the... The shystier class of... Destroyers. Just get rid of those. Um, I think I'll probably save these crappier cruisers for now just for raiding purposes Crap. oh yeah we gotta name them all I, I did forget about that uh oh we didn't even name the uh, oh shit, that's my bad. we didn't even name the class that's my bad sorry skulls good name Schoenhurst. Gabe, thanks for the doodly. 
fits. And exploding British. Love it. Uh, what's the whole international naval gathering with a sailing regatta in competition? All right. Pre we have to take prestige option. Davy supports this excellent initiative. Budget's a little better now. You know what I need? Uh, not that I have a lot of money, but I should get some Corvettes built. Maybe we get a uh, another budget increase soon. Ambassador from France has approached the Prime Minister of the Navy who suggested that we curb our naval program. How about you piss off? Sorry, colonists. Every, everybody who anybody who gets picked gets named after whatever we're naming right now. Otherwise, everybody will just say, "Hey, I want a battleship." Because just go with exploding. Got it. Because prestige and tension. Ah, there's no, there's no prest. Well, no, that was no, that was prestige. I gotta go with that one. I thought that was all right. Fuck them. Fuck them. Uh, let's design a Corvette. Alrighty, uh, Corvettes don't need to be fancy. They just need to get the job done. Uh, and there's not really any extra technology to put them on them right now. It's either mine sweeping gear or no mine sweeping gear. Hmm. Yeah, uh, this early in the game, there's very, very little to do with them other than just make a bunch of minesweepers. Yeah, uh, we can upgun them. Give them some, give them a couple secondaries. There we go. Make them a little bit bigger. What do? I cannot print out something for you. I don't have a print. Oh, oh, for now. I was like, I don't own a printer, Leah. You know that. Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> he's he's Polish. I don't speak his demon language. Uh, I thought Leah asked me to print something out. I was like, I haven't owned a printer in 10 years. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Just need, I just need some minesweepers for trade protection purposes. Uh, it's got to put me in the negative. Uh, which I can keep going for mo- we, Okay, I can just about keep that going before I'm insolvent. And we can hope that the budget goes up. Uh, interested in buying the rights to turret and gun mountings. Actually, I need the cash right now, so... Yes, I'll take that. And the budget went up a little bit, too. Ew! Oh, that was a big one. That was a, uh, a 9 mil upgrade. Uh, you're due to hold a speech at the annual gathering of the Navy League. That's a prestige down. That's a tension up. That's a prestige. I think the French are the ones that need to get slapped first. <laughs> Mostly because they have good things to steal. We went up another 10k. Oh, fuck you! There are popular protests in Japan against high naval expenditure. I'm like the poorest. I bet I'm poorer than Italy right now. <laughs> Speaking of which, one of our agents has been caught in Italy. Make him a hero! Let's see. Yeah! Yeah, fuck, fuck you! I'm the poorest station in the game. Actually, I'm surprised the U.S. isn't spending more right now. Yeah, we're okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine.
upheaval. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's been an uh, uh, internal upheaval in North Korea. If we send an expeditionary force to restore order, there is a chance we will take it over as a colony. Come on! Japanese North Korea in 1904. Let's do this. <sighs> How much money do you have to burn on boats before people actually go out and protest about it? See, that's the thing. How much does one of those new aircraft carriers cost? Looking it up. Thirteen billion dollars? Nobody says boo about that. All right, well, North Korea. Come on, come on, come on. I want North Korea. Woo! <laughs> Got it! France got pissy about that, too. How about you stay on your side of the planet, you fucks? Uh, build fortificate. Wait, does it have any... Did it come with any forts? In North Korea? Uh, uh, Formosa, Hokkaido... No, there's nothing there. Um, I mean, I don't... I, for, for, honestly, I like boats. So, I, I, like, I, like, I like ships. <laughs> I've always liked naval stuff. So I don't know how much na how much money the country would actually have to spend to uh, uh, before I would go eh. because I mean if we could have gotten some Tillmans made in the past that would have been sweet that would have been that would have been real nice uh, so let's go to North Korea and build some of those um. I'm going to leave the, the, the fleet elements that are active right now on active because we're about to go to war with France. 9, 10, 11 inch coastal defenses are apparently bugged with permanent minus one quality guns. Really? I did not know that. Oh, 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 oh. Heavy secondary guns, encasements, or single turrets. Don't mind if I duck it a do. Not that I have any money. Um. Oh God! What the fuck happened to my budget? I was I was looking at the monthly balance. I was like, wait, what the hell just happened? I went from two hundred and twenty to one eighty, and I didn't take any. Oh, it was those. It was those fucking protesters. Oh God. Oh no. Your mother's a bitch. Oh no, we're going to war. Six foot range finders. Whoop. Mobile, uh, oh God. Oh, they haven't increased the budget enough. It's gonna hurt. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Most of the fleet was already mobilized. Also, the fleet's not that big. Okay. Yep, there it is. Japan and Germany. Uh, hey, surprise invasion! Woohoo! I don't have to pay for it. Doom! Sink Tower's might. And we get a surprise attack. So, oh man, when I was playing off screen like two or three weeks ago is Japan. I got a surprise attack, but the surprise attack spawned, like if we were doing Sing Tao, it spawned like over here. It was like hundreds of miles away. It took most of the the, 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 the time of the battle because the surprise attacks are, are very short. It took almost the entire length of the battle to even get within sight of an enemy ship. And there are, they were already like aware. It's like, what the fuck? It's a surprise attack and I spawn 500 miles away or some shit. All right, but anywho, let's just make sure these guys are, oh, they are already on it. Uh, let's manually grab them by the dongles here and send them into Sing Tao. What the fuck? Minikaze, 
You know what to do! It's just a destroyer. Well, it's just a destroyer. I mean, you can still try. Numakaze, you know what to do! It's a fucking patrol boat! It's, it probably doesn't even have a draft capable of getting hit with a torpedo. Uh, it's, uh okay, something's there. Something's there. All right, you guys do whatever, whatever the fuck, 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 fuck you. Fuck, put that back on AI. Fuck, their, fuck your torpedo boat. All right, there is something in there. And it is weird as land fortifications in areas that don't suck. Uh, is that even, that is, ah, oh, it's outside of torpedo range. <laughs> Oh, it's like it's outside of range. I gotta, I gotta, oh. Okay, we gotta, we gotta sneak in. We gotta sneak in this way you and try to sad. get it in an oblique angle. And then we'll take, um, Kisargari here and we'll try to get whatever that other one is. We gotta, we gotta try to get her at bad angles because it's, our torpedoes don't and we've had a torpedo upgrade already i'm gonna come in there and corp you up all right she got hit so let oh three four hits nice now let's try to get some of these stop exploding you cowards oh okay one of our destroyers exploded that's fine a little, little explosion never hurt anybody all right, we'll try to get that uh, that light cruiser next. Oops. A lot of arc, my ass. Oh shit, balls! Fuck. Uh, okay, that one kerploded. <laughs> uh, good start to the day. I need I need a kamikaze to try to get a torpedo off. Unigari. You too. Good luck. Fuck. All right, we'll, we'll come in. With, I got some guns here. Try to use some of the pew pews. She already took a torpedo. So we just gotta try to damage her with some gunfire. Uh, we could try to get a torpedo off as well. Tokiwa probably doesn't have the, the angle. Oh, she got an angle. So those were ter- I'm just gonna put those out there. Your aim is bad and you should feel bad. Well, um, you guys leave. Well, I mean, you can come over here and blow up the uh, coastal fortifications if you want. She's still firing back. Uh, a couple nine inch hits in there. Not much though. What, what, what are, what, what are you? What the fuck? Oh, it's just a transport. All right, let's murder that too. I started blasting. Bah, bah. He's oh uh, oh god oh god no no no! If those are actually destroyers, we don't want anything to do with them. All right, you go right here. This thing got hit with three or four torpedoes. It's going down. Uh, I kind of don't... Oop, I'm telling these guys to go in circles. I kind of don't want my armored cruisers futzing around where those uh, destroyers are. Murder, murder, murder. Murder, murder, murder. murder. We can't we can take out the coastal battery that's here for funsies. Ah. We 
get a coastal battery if it's on the coast with a torpedo? It's worth a shot. Now, that armored cruiser is probably going to sink. I don't see her getting away from this, but we definitely want to make sure. Because we want to sink everything that we can. For brownie points. Oh, she's dead in the water now. So let's let's try a coup de gras here. First Japan session. Yes. We started this uh what was it? An hour ago? Tequila. Out of out of doodle. Uh Awate is probably out of doodle as well. Oh no, you got a low there. Corvettes. So it looks like we still got some Corvettes and transports coming through here. But looks like they're getting in there. Uh, hopefully that's actually a Corvette and not a destroyer. Honestly, any even Corvettes sunk is useful tonnage off station. And that thing is still goddamn moving. Uh, the, the game I've been playing off screen, I've seen some absolutely ridiculous uh, survivability from enemy ships. So right now, I'm kind of in a situation. Ah, we, ah, we got them all! Woohoo! Okay. So we got a pre-dreadnought, an armored cruiser, a light cruiser, two corvettes, and two transports. News, we did not everyone. sink the coastal battery. Uh, and we only lost one destroyer ourselves. So that was that was a solid victory. 4,000 victory points. Uh, we not we, we completely destroyed the German presence over here. Yeah, we we sank every ship they had stationed at uh, Singtao Bay there. Back to start really enjoy uh, watching this because I do smooth brain play. It's it, it is a um. It is a a tough game to get into for certain. All right. And, uh, yeah, no, uh, we're already fighting there. We control the waters. We, if we wanted to, we could move some ships to Southeast Asia to protect it. Uh, but my budget's ass. God damn it, I'm at war and it's only 233. Stop being poor. Oh, you know what's gonna happen? J uh, France is gonna declare war and it's gonna reset my, my victory points there. Shiza. Uh, but it was a surprise invasion, so shouldn't you get the base? They still, even if the surprise invasion gives you the invasion for free, but you still have to f do the land combat. So there, the the actual fighting still happens. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, that's why I wanted this to uh, not fire when it did, but I wasn't gonna say no to North Korea. North Korea. So I gotta put ten ships. Numakazes are going on trade protection until those Corvettes are done. So secondary surprise attack against France. I don't think so. I don't think it's a surprise once the war is actually declared. I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, that helps. $50 million has been collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. Oh, there's the... Oh, I forgot I was building some coastal batteries, too. Yeah, yeah, there it is. All right, so I did not get a surprise invasion. It did reset the victory point, sadly. Uh, that's unfortunate, but we knew that was going to happen. I can't afford to resume this now. They want a new battleship. I could build one just to make him happy. Just a signal. No, no, we invaded it, but we don't have it yet. The battle is still going on. Oh, wait, no, you're right. That was a fast battle. 
Surprise! All right, uh, we need a battleship. I think I think eight inch guns are too. No, I can put eight inch guns. <laughs> I don't know if I want to. But honestly, what I should do because I have good quality eight inch guns, I should uh, line them up as the secondaries. Uh, put those torpedo mounts on. Can theoretically, yeah, that is legal. But at this stage in the game, that is dangerous, so putting them in casements is a better idea. Uh, let's knock that down to two. Okay, okay, that's enough. Resume construction. Already did. Didn't I? I thought I did. Hang on, let me double. I thought I did, but now I'm looking at my budget. Now I, I, uh, I'm not so sure. Can I get more of those on there? No. So I can get a dozen of those. And what? 20 something of these? 36? 34. Hey, that's legal. Perfect. Yeah, that's not bad. We'll build one of these. Ice tea. There we go. Yeah, we did resume. All right, we are too poor to do anything other than just wait for our shit to build. And, oh god, um, I don't think, uh, we love you. Formosa? Sure, baby, I know it. Hey, Rule those waves, would... mate, smiley face. I, th thank you, Shondor, thank you very much. And I am ruling these waves. Kick some German ass already, well, I kick some German ass as long as they're not fighting back. As long as they don't fight back, we're cool. Uh, uh, uh. How does it work? What's the goal? So in this game, you play is basically like the Secretary of the Navy in any any of the, the nations that are available to play. You pick at the start. Um, and your job is to fight the... the you, you are, your job is to design, build, and fight the naval actions in all you the wars that happen uh, between 1899 and 1955. So... Your primary job is build, building and fighting with ships. So right now, these are all this. It's 1905. I'm playing as Japan. The this is my entire navy, uh, right now. Um, this is what I have uh, currently under construction, which <laughs> sadly is just mostly just corvettes, but a couple new armored cruisers. But uh, yeah, it's 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 na it's naval stuff. You you build ships, you fight with ships, you do shippity things. Stick around for a, a bit and you'll see some combat. Because we already got an enemy coastal raid. Alright. What do we got? Ah! the Two of the big mins! We got two of the big mins. Ah, yeah. That's some nice Jap... Now, now we just gotta grab South Korea and a collection, collect, Korea collection is complete. Oh, there's one of our coastal batteries. That's the 8-inch one. Alright, well, let's see if we can find them. See if they, they they pop somewhere. It's just a coastal raid, so I don't expect much here. Oh, we got a sighting. We have one destroyer. Heading down this way. Eh. If it's just one destroyer, it's probably gonna run away. Ah, and there the sun went down. Alright, well, our first combat was, well, other than the, the surprise attack on 
uh, Sing Tao. Oh, no, there was two light cruisers there. Where did they get off to? Oh, yeah, no, they fucked off. They, they were not interested in fighting at all. They, they fucked off way the hell out of there. Well, I get 250 victory points. Huzzah! Temporary setback, figuring out the concept of improved riveting techniques. Um, the enemy does have two operational subs. Not that that's much to be concerned about right now. And we can start immediately uh, tell the new mines who... I love how the, the, uh, the Corvettes are significantly larger than the destroyers. These are 800 tons. Those are 500 tons. Uh, immediately put them on trade protection. And then I can start pulling these uh, destroyers off of trade protection and back on active fleet. We move to Sweden. You have to see the coastal forts we have uh, from the 1920s. I would love to. It is less than, it's like six and a half weeks until I move now. Um, we have our apartment uh, picked out. Um, I actually just got the, the lease in my email this morning. So I should probably, I was meant to sign that this morning, but then I got distracted with work. Um, but, but yeah, well, we, we got, we got our place. We got our plane tickets. We got the, the pets vaccinated. I, I, I bought some stuff and had it shipped to a friend in Sweden already. We are getting ready. And no, I don't have any raiders set right now, but I can take these guys right here and put them on raider. Um, I will spread them out a little bit. Um, and you know what? Let's take let's take one and go harass go all the way to Europe to harass them. And uh, one all the way to the Mediterranean. Spread them all out. What part of Stockholm? Stockholm. Like, like literally right in the middle of the city. Uh, I, our new place is a 15 minute walk from, uh, uh, from the Paradox HQ. So it's literally right, right dead center, middle of the city. Why would you move someplace civilized like Denmark? As a Swedish import, I feel obligated to be offended by that. Also, that's where the job is. Practically speaking. Oh, they already intercepted one of my raiders. That's why I sent these guys out, because they're not very good. So let's see if it can actually stand up to an interception. We got it's a it's a single combat here. The reason I sent these out is because they're only armed with four inch guns and three inch guns. So these are like late 1800s light cruisers. Uh, but the French ship doesn't seem interested. I should turn it around. I don't really have... God damn it. Look at the fucking read. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, it's out of my weight class. But I'm faster than her. As long as the engines hold up. Whoop, 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 whoop. My guns can't scratch the paint on that. Well, no, 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 T technically a lucky shot could penetrate the deck and damage your engines but on a four inch gun i wouldn't count on it that ship is out of my weight class uh as long as we can keep 21 knots for a p significant period of time before the stokers get tired we're okay All right, we'll be okay. Uh, seven hours of this, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna beat them by waiting for the sun. But okay, we just outrun them. All right, now change course. Yeah, we're our stokers are getting tired. How about the learning curve of this game? Uh, I would say that if you are trying to play the game in a vacuum, it's extraordinarily difficult. But 
they have a discord with a lot of very helpful players um i play it all the time and a lot of people in my community play it a lot so if you're interested in learning i would suggest either hanging out in my discord for questions or the rule the waves discord for questions so that you don't have to bang your head against the wall trying to figure out how things work because it's a very unintuitive game to learn um but if you have people to bounce ideas off of and get quick answers to it helps out a lot uh yeah and our stokers are exhausted so we lost two knots but we got we got away from them so go back down to cruising speed and we'll just we'll just run the clock out now Well, that was that was a bust. All right, five more Corvettes. Oh, oh, oh! I thought one of my raiders already was interred. A French raider has been interred at a neutral port for lack of fuel. Um, they only have one operational sub, so I'm wondering if either if we had bad intel or they lost one. It looks like a lot of the raiders have just been thwarting each other, but we did manage to sink. It looks okay. Oh, you know what this was? A lot of we had a bunch of in a bunch in Southeast Asia as they're passing through. So we got four. Something. All right. Make sure all these are on trade protection. And then again, we can start popping these off. Put them back on active fleet. We want the destroyers active. All right, uh, so the, oh, the armored cruisers are almost done. And thankfully the United States has not stolen them from me. Cruiser action, uh, I know. Germany declines. Friendship intercepts Japanese raider. All right, so we got another. We got, my ships have not even gotten to station yet, and they're still consistently getting um, intercepted on the way to where they're trying to get. Um, again, let's just let, let's just try to. Okay, we're identifying that as a pre-dreadnought, which means that that's not a pre-dreadnought, but it's probably a misidentified armored cruiser. So we got to run away again. We just did. We did. We yeah. Yeah. There we go. Just get away from them. A uh, little bit of overcast and a moderate breeze. You can't see the weather because it's underneath me, but overcast and a moderate breeze. So sighting was down. Moving forces. Yep, end the scenario, please. Oh, that was two armored cruisers. God damn it. We can't even get on station. Two cor new Corvettes. Uh, enemies sent, it out, sent out feelers through neutral nations by negotiated a peace without border changes or reparations. In all fairness, I did sink an entire German fleet already. It's not being represented in the score because our score reset when France joined. But I did do that. Um, but no, we're not going to let them off lightly. This war just started. Ooh, we got eight merchants on that one. So where do we get them? Southeast, Southeast Asia, South Pacific, and the two heading towards Europe got a couple. We sank eight. And the iced tea is ready for her construction. Um, I don't like building ships in singles. I like I like ships to have a sister. And our budget will free up in one month. So iced tea. Sorry, I got a scritchy nose. And ice trin. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I need another ship on duty. But we do have more Corvettes. Trade protection. Boom. Enemy coastal raid at Formosa. Okay. I almost had Madagascar. That's not the same place. Is this one of the... No, it's one of the Asamas. Okay, that's an older armored cruiser. But it's an armored cruiser. Uh, we do have coastal batteries and a small minefield set up. So, see what happens. 
Oh, there she is. All right. Let's uh, let's go get stuck in. Ooh, oh, okay, okay. I thought it was actually gonna be a fair fight. Oh, now they're gonna run away. I, these things are only okay. So my old armored cruisers are only capable of twenty knots, and this thing is capable of twenty knots as well, and is completely outgunned. Okay, so both these ships can hit the same speed. It's gonna come down to whose stokers get tired faster, <laughs> whose engines can stay the longest. Or maybe she'll take wonky turns and get fucked. Oh, uh, we got it. Okay, okay. A new challenger. Oh. Okay, it's like um. It's like a pocket armored cruiser. It's not that strong, but it can run away if it wants to. It has been a long while. Hey, Squid, how we doing? It's been a while. All right, now, oh, that's why I hate slow ships. I always try to replace the legacy ships as quickly as possible because they're always fucking slow. 20 knots on a cruiser is just not much to work with. All right, well, they are interested in a fight here. And we, they landed one hit. I landed one hit so far. I think that was a good hit. She's only going 15 knots. I think that may have just been a little slow from the turn, though, because uh, she's she's not she's not slowing down. Oh, there's another hit. We it's love you. It's only yeah, six baby, guns, I know it. Hey, Kitty. One whole year of Magnus. What am I doing with my life? Also, I saw you GT me a T-Rex. Yay. Glad you saw that. Yeah, so the six-inch guns landed a couple of hits. But, that being said, this thing doesn't have any armor. <laughs> so it's fully capable of doing full damage. Hopefully, hopefully we can get her, get her quartered. She's about to run out of room. I'd like to actually sink a ship in, 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 in a fair fight rather than just, well, I mean, I did not mind sneak attacking the Yermans at Sing Tao. Hey, there we go. Nine inch hit. Medium damage. She looks, okay, she looks a little slower now. But I'd like to, I'd like to sink a, a ship in a fair fight. But the problem is, is I don't think I'm going to be, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Not with only, oh, uh, uh, unless we get lucky and knock out some engines. She's still making 20 knots. Uh, the Asamas are just too damn slow. And I just saw... Wait, wait, wait. I think she just slowed down. She did just slow down. I think... I don't know what happened there, but she, she slowed down then sped up. Made you decide to move to Sweden? Job offer. My company's there. You fuck, Friedrich. We're hitting her, but we're not damaging the engines. I think we've damaged them a little bit, um, but they've managed to get the, the damage under control. Sorry, allergies. You some bitch. Nine inch uh, shell on Forge's armor has, an over, um, has to be an overpen, right? No, it doesn't have to. It really depends on what you hit. Out of, yeah, okay, so the nine inch our nine inch single has run out of ammo. So we don't have it we don't have the nine inch gun fire anymore. How many hits did we land? She only landed two before she ran out of ammunition. Which is actually better than I expected. Uh 
We can just try to plunk away with the six inch guns. Let's see what happens. Ah, ran out of daylight. Well, we, we could check. Whoa, what? Did I run? Oh, shit balls. I didn't actually expect to do that, but I think we ran into the the light cruiser on the way back. We only got 18 knots available, though. Hover Shooter! Any day now. I can't pull up alongside I'll get, or I'll get torpedoed. Are the... We got ammo left. I keep losing speed though because my stokers are exhausted. Oh no, I am out of, I, I, I don't, I don't think they can move ammo between the secondaries. So I got a, the only way to get a shot off is to present them a broadside, really. I mean, do we do any damage? A little bit. I'd like to sink one of these ships. That's why I can't wait for the new armored cruisers because they're so far superior to these. So what I have to do is get close and then present broadside and hope for the best. And we just full missed. No hits. And we lost him. Oh, we found him. And lost him. <laughs> and found him. Can't get away from me. I'm gonna fuck you up, bud. I'm gonna fuck you up, dude. We don't, ah, oh, this, this is useless. I don't have guns, I don't have ammo in the guns that bear easily. There's no point. God, I hate these old cruisers. I was hoping to have my new cruisers finished before the war started because I knew these ones were going to be tough to fight with. Aw, oh, light damage. All right, let's take a look at the details. So let's see, first not first nine inch shell, hit it eight thousand yards, hit the the extended deck armor, with the shell burst limited by a cool bunker, so it basically didn't do any damage. Next one was at sixty five hundred yards. Four slash aft hull hit was a penetration. So that was a full damage hit. And that was it. It was just those two hits. The rest of them were just six inch hits, which were doesn't look. I don't see any over penetrations in here. Well, they failed their mission, so I got some points. Uh, hey, we stole something. New ship exploding British, which we should rename to exploding on request. Uh, built in the USA is giving us valuable insight into US damage uh, and subdivision and damage control tech. Right. Uh, okay, intelligence service is offering to, uh, is, is considering offering safe passage to revolutionary, some renowned to his home country of Germany. Yes, let's collapse the German government. Nothing bad could come from that. Oh no. No! We no! It's a prestige option. No! My hands are tied. I was gonna give him safe passage. I have to go with the prestige option though. Ah! Uh, no! Okay. Okay. Well, um, uh, I've got three of my new armored cruisers on station now. That's good. Well, my, I gotta say, my prestige is already pretty high. It's already at 38. 
This is a prestige only run. Yeah, it was something Oak Tree uh, suggested a couple weeks back that he did a game where he he forced himself to only take all prestige uh, options when given the choice. So that's what we're doing this time is we're taking only prestige options. But it's nice to have decent armored cruisers on station now. They're uh, they're only they're in poor poor condition and working up, but they're good. Alrighty. Can you do anything in prestige, or it's just a goal? Prestige is just basically a, uh, a your how how winning you are. High prestige equals good. Low prestige equals you lose the game. That's it. Um, and mechanically speaking, the the reason to have high prestige is that the more you have, the more wiggle room you have to spend it as a currency. Um, you know, for those uh, for those random events without losing the game. So it's good to have it high. Cruiser at a oh, it's gonna be a shit cruiser though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm about to say it's gonna be one of my crap cruisers. All right, well maybe we can actually get a a, a fight in here then. Uh, all right, it's a whole fleet, but it's a whole fleet of smaller ships. All right, what are these cruisers armed with? Two six-inch guns and six four-inch guns. So they're not really capable of doing a lot of damage. But I'm not capable of chasing them down. That's why I hate these fucking cruisers. These things are getting scrapped. I think these armored cruisers are going to end up getting scrapped as soon as I can. They are not fast enough to do anything. Also, the single turrets are rough. <laughs> uh oh and the sun went down fuck me so it's t is that a no that's a light cruiser isn't it oh no that's an actual armored cruiser 4 8 inch guns 12 6 inch guns 1 and a half on the deck is dangerous saves weight but it's dangerous faster than me it looks like 22 knots faster, yeah. They're making a torpedo run. And, okay, yeah. Unfortunately, they're making a torpedo run. The sun's coming down. So, the the war started really fun. With the, uh... With the, uh, the surprise attack on Sigtau Bay. Or, Sigtau? Kaistau Bay? Um, but... So far after that, it's been, like, six months of slap fights. Hey, we damaged one of their destroyers. We really showed him what's for with that three-inch shell. Oh, my God. Lightite bursting charges for increase in shell damage. The raiders are giving me a trickle. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can... No, there's nothing else I can invade. Nothing else is in an invasion range. We got the only one we can take. What about options that don't give prestige? Do you take those? Well, you have to take... Whenever you get a um, a an event, you have to pick an option. You don't have the option to not pick anything. So I, I have to take whatever is the largest prestige option. If there's no prestige option, then it's my decision. Yeah, these, these, are, these are chonky boys. I kind of can't wait to get them into... You know what I could do is I can send these ones out on raiding expeditions. It's an option. Convoy defense. Germany declines. Ooh! I actually set that to low and we got an AP uh, penetrator improvement already. Whoa! Good month for the raiders though. Yeah. So we sank a German, one German transport in Europe, four French ones in Southeast Asia, two in Northern Europe from the French. Three French ships in the Mediterranean. I love that we have one Japanese raider in the Mediterranean. Take um, the Carolinas or something Indo-Chinese. It'll depend on how much, uh, how many points I have available. Depends on how badly I spank them.
They are very much trying to take my raiders down, but that's why I don't like using shitty raiders as uh, shitty ships as raiders when I can avoid it. You can intercept it a lot because they're slow. Watch this be another. Yeah, fuck you, Germany. God damn it. God damn armored cruiser. Oh, god damn it. I'm fine, fine. Yeah, their armored cruisers are better than mine. Well, at least their 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 legacy cruisers are better than my leg legacy cruisers. Uh, I'm still making 21 knots. Murder, murder, murder. Okay, so murder, murder, murder. Th this is this is gonna come down to again whose engines hold out the longest. Still making 21 knots. Oh. Okay, we're okay. They ran out of ammo. <laughs> they ran out of ammo on the guns that bear. So they can't even fire. I, I don't think I got hit. No, I got hit twice. Oh, well. They were just out of range. Oh! Ha ha! Ha ha! Whoop! Ha ha! Oh, hee hee hee! All right, all right. I lost one. I mean, if we want to, uh, we, we lost the armored cruiser. We do technically outgun this ship. We could try to fight her. Oh, I did, I lost two turrets though. Uh, okay. Blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. <laughs> Come on. Didn't, didn't, didn't land any hits on. I have. I must say, I'm on the right side. They're right on the right side facing them. Yes, I do. Um, they didn't land any hits though. And I'm taking hits. Fucking legacy ships are ass. Come on! Gunner. <laughs> Fucking gunners are ass. And now we're running out of ammo. And we're down to 17 knots, but I'm sure they're bad off too. Ah ha ha! The setting sun will save me. Maybe. I can get away. Yeah, we did not land and when we turned to fight, we did not land any hits. We only landed four total, and those were on the chase. We didn't land a single hit when we actually turned broadside to fight them. But what's more important right now what? Widespread demonstrations and serious disturbances are reported in Germany. We've been at war for eight months! Nine months now. All right, let's keep those docks coming. Okay. Um, Germany does not have the cojones for war. The, the French fleet is starting to arrive, though. Uh-oh, Japanese. 
Japanese uh, ship intercepts German raider in North. Wait, wait, I'm intercepting one of their raiders in Northern Europe? What the fuck's going on? I don't have any possessions over there to raid. Well, let's, uh, let's, again, what, 10 4-inch guns, 4 3-inch guns. 10 4-inch guns. Okay, so these are basically the same ship. So it comes, it's gonna come down to, um, luck or cruise skill. Ah, oh, I, 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 all right, first hit, I lost two knots. First hit, I lost two dots off my speed. Let's see, are they interested in a chase? They are. All right, let's give them broadside. God damn it. Hit the engine room. I haven't landed a shot yet. <laughs> what are the crew quality on this? It's normal. God damn it. Ah, there is a two. All right, I landed two hits. He's Earth. Man, it's it's just it's it's a far, far, far cry from later in the game. When you're landing, when you're regularly landing like 15, 16 inch shells at 20,000 yards. Right now you gotta get in there and hit him with your sword. I mean, we'd land a few shells. Four inch guns are just so anemic as a primary gun. That now they now that we landed a few hits, they're not interested in fighting. All right, we'll just stay alive and keep raiding. Medium or light damage to both ships. Cockburn safety valve of uh, weight saving on machinery. Uh, so where are they sinking ships? German Raider. So they've got armored cruisers raiding in the Indian Ocean and Southeast Asia. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the crappier cruisers. I'm going to set them to Raider. And I'm going to go like this. Move to Southeast Asia. Move to the Indian Ocean. Oh, and uh, one of those has to stay on foreign station. Just a lot. Hey, this is the th this is the one that sucks a little bit less because she has six inch guns. She can actually put up more of a fight. A lot, a lot. Oh God, it's an armored cruiser. Never mind. Keep getting pulled into battles that are lop lopsided. No fleet battles. No fleet battles, no even large cruiser battles, just skirmishing. They sent a fleet over. I'm waiting for a big knockdown drag out battle. Yeah, armored cruiser. There's Fitz. Uh, about a negotiate piece without border changes. No! Total victory! Dominates Formosa. Yeah, that makes sense. Japanese. Oh, fuck! What? Uh, Owachi was in Northeast Asia! You were, run you were at home! God damn it! Okay, court martial for the captain of that boat. Just putting that out there. The courtiest of marshals. 
You were in home waters and you were interned in a neutral port from la for lack of fuel. Objection. More, more disturbances in Germany. French raider has been... Okay, so the French being so far from home makes sense. Uh, again, eight... Okay, those raiders are doing their job. We're out raiding them, which is good. Bases are all overloaded. It was in my home area! It's... I don't, I don't think that's possible to have your bases overloaded in your home zone. Uh, apparently we've been sinking enough ships to cause fuel shortages in France, though. Surprise, we actually haven't been sinking that many, but it's enough. You know what we're gonna fucking do? Because we're- this is a- this is a slap fight. Uh, so we're gonna put down some AMCs. They- they do not need to be fancy. Because if it's- if this is the war- I mean, I have literally nothing else to do with this ship. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this bug. We have to hit- <laughs> Hang on. There we go. We have to keep auto-resolving until it takes the mines off. Or uh, auto-constructing until it takes the mines off. Now it's a Corvette. How big does it? I think it has to be over 1,600 probably to be an uh, armed merchant cruiser. How big does it have to be? Okay, uh, 1,800 tons. Use about 30 AMCs per war. Yeah, I, 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 I know that they're very effective, but it's the same thing with submarines. They're too effective. Um... It, it, like, like you could build nothing but submarines and win and win all your wars. You could build nothing but armed merchant cruisers and win our, all your wars, which is why I don't use them too extensively. They're too good. Um, but in this case, I don't mind. I mean, it's a slap fight war. It's pretty early on, and we're using our surface raiders um, to to harm the enemy. So I don't, and we have money to spend and not much to spend it on. So I don't mind doing a, a couple. I think that's fine. It's not balanced, but it works. Well, yeah, yeah, I, 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 kn I know it works, but it, it not being balanced is the issue I have with it. Say, like I said, same thing with submarines. It's too easy. It's too easy. All right, well, let's build some of these. We'll build, I don't know, like half a dozen or so. How, how many months? Four months? That's fine. That's fine. Do we want to? Um, Jesus, I don't build subs. I I don't build subs at all. Like I was saying, they're they're not balanced well. They're they're lame. They're boring. You don't get to design them. You don't get to deploy them. You don't get to fight with them. And my in from my point of view, there's no point in them being in the game at all, because you they're they're basically just like out of combat modifiers. And I play the game to to play with the the ships. Strikes an anti-war. God damn it! The French and the Germans are weak. They want to build another one. <laughs> Excellent. I'll take the offer. And we did forget to name him Rouse, as is tradition. Uh, Army wants more resources. Um. Honestly, I'm gonna give them to him. <laughs> Nine more merchants sunk. Uh, and see how they do. Fitz has finished her working up. Dominating Formosa. Merchant. Our raiders are doing their thing. They have a fleet here. Oh no, they sent it. They had it here. They sent it. Uh, they sent it away. Um. They should be in the game, but you shouldn't be able to build them. Well, then what's the point in having them in the game? That, that, that makes them even less... That gives them even less of a reason to be in the game. So if you're not designing them, you're not building them, you're not deploying them, and you're not fighting with them, what is the point in even having them in the game? What what would they add gameplay-wise? Because the point of the game is to have fun. 
what would they add to this game if you're not if you're literally doing nothing with them? I'm transferring the fleet. Personally, I would prefer it if you if they just expanded the functionality. I I think subs would be perfectly fine if you at least designed them. They should be spawned randomly in transport fleet. But then what what is the point? What 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 would the what what does that add to gameplay? Southeast Asia. Because if I'm in I love the convoy attack battles. Those are a lot of fun. But they're not a lot of fun if the AI is doing the fighting. <laughs> What is, what what does that add to the core gameplay loop? That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. What how, how does that improve the core gameplay loop? Come on. God damn it, you Actually, outguns me. They don't have turrets, though. Option to use them for hunter, killer, and stuff. Yeah, I, th I think right now they're just poorly implemented. They need to go one direction or the other. You either remove them entirely from the game or you expand the functionality of them. I would be happy with either one. It's just the way they exist in the game right now is not very good. Because it's on, it's on the fence. It's halfway between one. It's halfway between one and the other. They're in the game, but barely. But like I, like I said, I just opt out of using them because they are just not balanced well. Oh, Chioda is returned home due to mechanical problems. Another six merchants sunk. More trade disruptions in France. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm going to say the war will end as so in the next two months. Is my assumption before the AMCs get a chance to do anything. That's that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, I, I transferred a fleet down there. They transferred a fleet up. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to engage them in combat. I'm trying, but they won't accept. That's what we wanted to do. Improve bases there. Ah, here we go. Convoy defense. Hey! Oh, I forgot to rename Exploding British. We got two of our new ships. How are the crews? Uh, zero and zero. Okay, they're fine. We have, and we got a big man too. Ah, finally, some of our good ships. There's the convoy. Oh, oh God. They spawned between me and the convoy. I don't think they know that though. They decide to wage war by not fighting. Traditional French tactics is what they are. Cowardly, dastardly. Oh, 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 come on. So, let me, let me just put the, all these, this like year of war, all the hits we've landed so far have done no damage. Literally the first hit we land with the Sharnhorst knocked our engines out. The very first shell that they hit with knocked the Medusa's engines out. Those American guns. Fabian. Uh, I, I don't know 
know if I'd call the, what the French are doing. Oh, they only had one ship. Woo! Our first success! Well, second if you count the attack on Singtao. Um, first ship uh, destroyed in the open ocean, though. Another 1,156 victory points. Beautiful. Uh, oh, who cares? <laughs> OMZ commissioned to the Navy. She found she uh, has trouble reaching her designed speeds. I don't care. They're armed merchant cruisers. Let's put them on Raider. And let's spread them around. Um, Southeast Asia. South Pacific. Indian Ocean. Uh, yeah, South and West Africa would be fine. South Africa. Kind of bugs me that it's Southern Africa. Not South. I don't know why that sounds. That sounds awkward, but it's fine. Um, and West Africa. There we go. Torpe meme jo yeah, we're go we're going for a full full destroyer torpedo spam. Ah! Oh! 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 oh, oh finally! South Africa. Well, yeah, I know, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a fleet. It's the biggest. It's the fleetiest battle we've had yet. And we do have three of our new armored cruisers. Woo! Fucking finally. All right. Um, independent. Line ahead. Uh, give me 20 knots and get in formation. You guys, uh, you can make 19. Hit 16 and down this way, please. Sharnhorst and Fitz, I need you in, uh, in doodly. Information, please. Yup. Hey, we finally got a fleet action. All right, let's not let's not get these guys too heavily engaged before the bigger guns show up. Yeah, that's more like it. All right, all right. Trying to keep the um the, the the cruisers to the north a little bit. I don't know. These are the Ikis, right? Iki, Iki. Four 12 inch guns. Twelve. Ah, they're all right. They're 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 perfectly average legacy ships. And this looks like it actually looks like a very even fight. I'm seeing seeing three pre dreadnoughts and three armored cruisers on both sides. What do these things look like? 13 inch guns, 10 7 inch guns. Uh, so they're a little bit more heavily armed. They have a critical weakness though. Where we don't have that. Their engine, their their decks are uh, susceptible to splinter damage. But that does mean we have to land hits. That's that's the hard part. Let's see, what's the distance? <laughs> ten thousand yards. This early into the game, ten thousand yards. No one's gonna. Oh fuck! <laughs> no one's gonna hit. They hit with a, a seven-inch gun. That's okay though. Seventeen knots. Real well, that's pretty normal at this stage of the game. Not, none of the large, none of the capital ships that are uh, legacy ships go more than like, like even at nineteen knots. These. These are running a little fast. They're normally somewhere between 16 and 18 knots early on. Oh, they got a Brennus too. What's the Brennus look like? It's almost identical. It, it's got a, is it smaller? 14 and a half, thir no, it's bigger. 18 knots, 17 knots. So it's got a smaller main main gun. A little bit more belt armor, but still low on the deck. Alright. 
So we're getting into a good range now. The secondary... Okay, the secondary guns are start... The secondaries and tertiaries are starting to do some work. Honest... Uh, oh, 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 come on! Fucking seven... A seven-inch shell hit the bridge. It's got ten inches of armor and destroyed it. Fucking lucky bat. That was a seven-inch gun, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, you fucking lucky bastards. Well, we lost. We lost the bridge of the the lead ship. From a how did it do that? that was a seven-inch shell on ten, versus ten inches of armor. Lucky penetration. Well, I mean. Let's see, uh, hit chance 1.24. It's not that big of a deal. What's a captain really worth? I originally thought it would be a good idea to try to engage them on both sides. Starting to think that was a bad idea because... These ships are susceptible to damage from secondary batteries. And if I engage all of my ships on the same side, then we're splitting the shells up between six ships rather than taking a full broadside from both. So, huah! Loire took a, uh, a fair amount of hits there. Okay. So what we'll do is just have the... Ooh, exploding just took a couple hits. She's okay, though. Uh, still making 24 knots. Uh, we'll just have the... The cruisers come in for just same as them come in formation behind the rest and I, I i was hoping those eight inch guns would start laying some hits in but they have not hit yet charnors has got a jam turret none of them have hit landed a shot yet exploding british has taken a lot of secondary hits Cross the T behind, are you underlining the I? I'll take that, yeah. Only six inch guns have really done anything yet. Oh, there's an eight inch hit. There we go. Honestly, I if I could sink a couple armored cruisers, that'd be great because these are 12,000 ton ships. They're not small, that one's only nine. That one's 12. What's this guy armed with? Four eight-inch guns. It's tonnage off station in victory points, so. Right, there we go. A couple more hits. Oh, we landed a... I think I saw one of these ships just landed a 12-inch hit. Yeah! <laughs> First 12-inch hit. 1% hit rate so far. None zero... It's just under one. God damn it. It's those, that, that early accuracy. Honestly, their armored cruisers are taking it way worse than anything else. Let's see, how's the damage look over here? I know the Guar took a couple hits. Can't really see any damage, but we know they've taken a bunch. Are we still making 19 knots? We're still making 19 knots, which means we've barely taken any damage. Yeah, it's mostly just... Oh, there's another 12. Although, for whenever you see, uh, like, a primary caliber hit right now, it could mean jack shit because the, sh the guns are usually of terrible quality. The shells are usually of terrible quality. So normally what's going to happen is nothing. Um, most of the time you're going to take out a pre-dreadnought, you're either going to burn it down or torpedo it.
Running out of ammo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, they're making a tour. They're making a run. I'm hoping that we can underline... Oh, this guy's got medium damage now. Um, underline the eye on here and maybe light her up. She, she's away from the rest of the fleet now. Here, let, let's pivot around. Starting to get those 8-inch uh, hits in now. Got, got a number of them. Uh, let's grab manual control over a couple of these destroyers. And... Oh. One of them's one of them's damaged. See if we can get in there and put a torpedo into her. All right, cut her off. Come back around. Maybe we can get the duplex while we're at it. Yakaze. There we go. That's that's a bad angle, but it's possible. But that's a good angle. Wasted a torpedo to... Wasted two torpedoes on one ship to get a guaranteed hit on the other. There we go. That thing should be dead in the water now. Pre-Dreadnoughts cannot take underwater damage and keep on trucking. We love you. Shut up, baby. I know it. All right. So that's an armored cruiser. Or no, that's a pre-Dreadnought down, not an armored cruiser. We should coup de gras her, but that was that was good. That I I'll I bet you anything that was like a six inch shell splinter hitting the deck, splintering and sending splinters into the engine room. That's why on on any ship that is that the, that can take it, I will put a two inch deck on, even if it's expensive. Couple more torpedoes. These guys are out, so I'm gonna send them back. Uh, because preventing splinter damage is what's gonna keep you alive. Ooh, this is dangerous. Especially, especially if they're not landing hits, this is very dangerous. We could try to launch some torpedoes out there, see if we can disrupt their formation. Um, Sharnhorst, you want to try? Thanks for introducing me to CK2 and Dyson Sphere. Ah, good games. Love them both. Ooh, that second shot actually looks really good. Oh, we got Brennus with one of those. Oh, oh, we got Brennus with one of those. She dead in the water. And now we're now now we're just lighting up the other one with our six inch guns. Oh, I can't believe we actually landed that shot. This is turning into a really good battle. This is turning into a real good battle. <laughs> and this this one's engines are cutting out. 10 knots. Woo! Uh-oh. 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 That's not where I wanted this ship to go. Uh, she can't... I don't know why, but I can't... I can't launch torpedoes. I think it's a bug. Oh, that was a beautiful shot, too. That we missed. That one, the Brennus is dead in the water. We'll take a look at the damage done after the battle, but I, I'll bet you anything it was because of those thin decks. An idea what caused that? I honestly don't. Um, I, I do not know. I, I, I do know this, though. This is not a game that you want to leave running and walk away from. Because I've done that before where I've been I've been playing this game and I'm like, oh, I got to go do some work and I, you know, do some, you know, just minimize it and go work for a couple hours and then come back to it. If you leave this game running for long periods of time idly, errors will creep up and crash your game. 
And because it doesn't autosave, you can easily lose years and years and years and years worth of progress. So always save and turn it off when you're done. Really like to turn back around and go after those armored cruisers. Because, oh, Fitz just took a big hit to the engine room, right? Uh, I want you to slow down. Uh, ah, oh, no, no, no. Engines are giving trouble due to extended high speed steaming. Okay, no, no, uh, I assume she took a hit there, but no, she's okay. Still, still just pl uh, absolutely blasting the, uh, the, the last pre-dreadnought there. Starting to run out of ammo on a lot of these ships. Oh, exploding British got back into formation. Oh, there we go. That was that was a good salvo. Fitz landed uh, two eight-inch shells and four six-inch shells in one salvo. Heavy damage registered. This, this this is a good way of taking down um, pre-dreadnoughts. Get in close and blow the superstructure off the ship. That's exactly what you do. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a feeling because I've the longer I leave the game running idle, the more errors I've seen creep up. But I've noticed that if I remember to save it and close it down and then load it back up when I want to play again, most of the time there's not any errors. Not seeing a lot of hits down here anymore, but this ship is getting its face blasted off. Um, okay, so that one is sunk. The, this Brennus is definitely not going anywhere. Five Fahrenheit currently around the middle region of, of Swedenland. I love the cold weather. I can't fucking wait. I'm sick of Florida. sick of the heat i want the cold i like the cold i like i like i like gray skies i like dreariness there's there's a hit on a duplex i am i am ready to be done <laughs> you have no power here friends Honestly, these torpedoes aren't bad for this early into the game. A couple thousand yards. Can you make a ship that's a glass cannon? Yes. You in you entirely can make a glass cannon. That's basically what a battle cruiser is. Brennus went down. Twenty percent ammo remaining. Heavy damage on. How, how are these guys doing? Okay, we got ten and forty-five. Fourteen and forty-seven. Twenty twenty-three and fifty-three. So exploding British is the winner in the cruiser formation. But should you? It it depends on who you ask. Some people swear um, battle cruisers are the the meta of the game and they're the best things you can build. Um, I think battle cruisers are a waste of space. But I get why other people like them. They're fun to play with, but they're inefficient. And that is just that is because of a um, a it's a side effect of the way engine HP requirements are calculated. Um, that's why it's it, that's the other reason why it's pretty much impossible to make ships in this game that have historical speeds and weights because it's pretty much impossible to cram enough engine enough engine horsepower into a in a an appropriate hull size because it's there's like I, I think it's logarithmic the way they they calculate that so 
as you get up to about 30 knots, the the increase in weight per knot gets ridiculously high. So jet oh, the suns go, good timing. So generally for me, about 28 to 30 knots is where I will call it in terms of ship speed. Because after that, you are really cutting into the remaining weight to get those extra knots out of there. All right, I'm going to double tap to make sure this goes down. And frankly, I would have settled for one or two of these French armored cruisers and called it a victory. Three pre-dreadnoughts is a stunning victory. Two, three, and frankly, we're running out of ammo. That's actually way better than I expected. We'll take a look at the damage done. At, oh, I was waiting for, got my blood pumping. I was waiting for a good battle. Um, We'll take a look at the battle damage after the fact, but I bet you anything, their engines were, they, they were all knocked out because their engines were damaged. We barely took any ourselves. Let's take a look. Um... Three heavy hits, 17 medium hits. Uh, this I think this is the one that that went down first because that's not a lot of hits. So let's see. So her first hit was a 12 inch shell. Which caused significant flooding actually. Huh. Well, fuck me. But let's, let's keep taking a look. So we knocked out fire control. There's an engine room hit. Twelve inch pass through. Torpedoes were were not even necessary. Honestly, I think she probably slowed down from this shot. We also knocked out uh, her fire control too. All right, the Charles Martel. Ah, yes. 206 hits for medium guns. This is the one that we blew the superstructure off of. Just six inch and eight, eight inch hits all the way through. Uh, the, the last group were overkill, but that's fine. What about that last one? The Brennis. Yeah. Let's see. Um... Fuck me. I got lucky. I got fucking lucky. The first hit on what on on the Masana. Messina, sorry. Um it was a was a waterline hit which flooded her. And the what the first hit on this one was a 12-inch shell directly into the engine room at 4000 yards. So it really, it wasn't even the deck. It was just lucky. 5,600 victory points. Latest army offensive has been a complete success too. I did give them money for that. 1,500 victory points. And there's Rouse. Without border changes. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I called it! <laughs> I told you I called it. I said I said one to two months. As soon as those merchant cruisers are finished, this war is ending. I did get to keep the territory I invaded, though. I technically I came out plus two because I got North Korea, and that which was what started the war, and I got Singtao. But I. I would like to put it on, on record that I called it. Rouse was commissioned to the Navy. Everybody quits. Rouse, what, Rouse was commissioned and then scrapped. Use the aircraft. Yeah, aircraft carriers are a thing later on. All right, well, um... 
Grab the fleet, move it back to Northeast Asia. Reserve. Cause I, I kept Sing Tao, right? Yeah, 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 I, I came out plus two. I mean, even though we got fucked by the politicians there, I still ended up with two new possessions. So, uh, build fortifications here. Let's get ourselves a couple of six inch guns. Beautiful. Oh, I moved the whole, oh shit. Saw north and just went, that's right. Face hardening. Everybody come back. All right, uh, all reserve. Active mine warfare. Reserve, that, that was my bad, that was my bad. Oops. You know, there's no, there's, there, there's, there's a sense, it's basically the same thing, you know, Europe. Asia, they both have north in them. Make you move back to, did it again. Make sure they're coming home. 1% one, one saving on hull. Uh, more docks. There's my coastal batteries. Reserve everybody. All right, not bad. Yeah, <laughs> really East Asia, exactly. Uh, good, 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 good. Okay, I am going to start this out. We're gonna get rid of these because I hate them and they're bad and they should feel bad. I'm gonna get rid of these five because they're bad and they should feel bad. Is like whenever we use the legacy ships, the battles were lame as shit and boring slap fights. When we used any of the ships I built, came out well. We just the right hemisphere. <laughs> there you go. That's a good point. Um, I need one ship for colonial, so. Kasagar, uh, Kas Kasagi. Please and thank you. I will need to build some ships for foreign station. Let's actually do that right now. Uh, boop, 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 boop. They don't need to be, a foreign service ship doesn't need to be fancy. Forty five hundred ton colonial service ship. Seems perfectly fine to me. The smattering of five inch uh, guns, perfectly fine. We don't need a lot of them, but we will need more later. Love the Hoy 3 music. Yeah, me too. Kitty. New government wants to reduce spending. You suck God, i don't even have that much money to spend Woo! central fire for me that's actually pretty early hey better quality nine inch guns too the eights are still better but it's good to have oh we're already doing that uh okay first things first immediately grab my new ships open design for rebuild and give them new range finders Please and thank you. Uh, can I give those to the big men too? I can't save that. Rebuild all that. Ah, shit, I just sent you out. Ah, uh, fudge balls. All right, one of you guys, forward station for me. Just temporarily. Kitty, um, give me just a pair of those for now. I don't have a lot of colonies yet. Okay. Give all the cruisers. Woo! The U.S. is offering to assembly the rights to low-quality 13-inch guns, but not low, fr low not, not French quality. The French start out with minus two. Um, I will buy any guns I can get my hands on, frankly. I need to spend some of this money. Um, I've got too much funds in the bank.
Can I get... Midship wing turrets on this now? Can. Uh, can they be doubles? I think the U.S. has some, like, engine technology that's putting me to shame. Because if I tell them to rebuild these in the U... Oh, my God! Wait, no. They're, those are brand new. Oh, my God. I, I'm sorry. I was thinking rebuild. I was like, why is it so expensive? Because it's a rebuild. It's a, it's a new ship. Oh. Or make it start at zero. Oh, yeah, I know. I personally would like it if every gun had four qualities. Or five qualities even. Negative two to plus two. Um, I thought would, would be really nice. I don't know why only the 13 inch guns have a negative two quality. I thought it would be I, th I thought it would be fun if all ships had that. Um, honestly, we could build these in the US as well. Oh, but the guns in the US aren't as good. So we can do this here. Add more gun quality. Oh yeah. There, there's a, there's a, uh, a short list of things that I would love to see to improve the quality of this game and uh, more gun. Well, basically re rebalancing the gun stats are, are high on the list because uh, as it stands right now, 17, 18, 19 and 20 inch guns are, are really subpar. So it would be, and uh, two and three inch guns are useless as well. Revised <laughs> gun quality list. French poor, good, brilliant, exactly. The neg negative two is just French quality. Uh, alrighty, I can make, I, I can make an upgraded, uh armored cruise because i did just scrap four so i could use a couple more so what i could do is i can knock the sixes down to fives and then add on two more wing turrets mm, i really hate odd numbers Okay, okay, okay. Like, see real dark mode? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Real real dark mode, uh, revised submarine warfare. There's a couple specifics that I, I find really ruin the late game for me. Um, I'm, I'm, as much as I've tried, I've, I've tried so many times to really enjoy the late game carrier combat, there's a few things that are really annoying. The I, I would like better control over my air groups. It's very, very, very difficult to get your air groups to do what you want. Huh, I'll show you an example. Fixing torpedoes so they're usable without 20 clicks. Yeah, yeah, that would be um, same thing with air groups, so that you could you could do your air group stuff with fewer qu clicks. And it, basically, the air system needs kind of like a once over. Um, I'll show you. Um, did I put it in here? Okay, so these are these are two ex uh these are two examples. So this was uh, a game I was playing off screen. So these are my carrier air patrols. I've underlined them all. Uh, a formation of enemy planes came in here, bombed by my uh, carriers and burned two of them out. We didn't shoot down a single one. And here is another example from later on. Every single one of those little clusters of red dots is a carrier air group on combat air patrol. Over this formation. This formation got destroyed by enemy planes. None of these guys intercepted any of them. Uh, and I was just sitting here going, 
I I know that there is a random uh there's some RNG in there. Um was the worst ship in World War One or World War Two in your opinion? Uh depend I, I think we would I, I think we would need to um specify uh what what your definition of worst is worst in what category so yeah like these I, these i found really frustrating and there's an rng factor in there in that um uh you know the you know the planes might come in at an angle where you can't intercept them or they might be a surprise or something like that but like this many carrier air groups and one formation of bombers came in there and none of they none of them got shot down on the way in or the way out i was just like we're still yeah well yeah my my initial my initial um my initial answer to that question with you know without hesitating would be the yamato and the musashi entire huge wastes of resources especially on a nation with limited resources the iceberg carriers count well they were never built i think at the very least you would have to say a ship that saw active service um what a, a class of ships that was one of the worst designed was the the bismarck class the Bismarck and the Tirpitz um, were very inefficient. I will say this. I like the the aesthetic appeal of, um, of German ship design. I think they look good as ships, but the, the Bismarck class was a very, very inefficient design. Other nations at the time were getting far more functionality out of a out of a hull of that size than the germans got out of it they other, other nations were had more armor more engine space uh like more seaplanes um uh, and functionality for them more guns bigger guns more ammunition more secondaries way more anti-aircraft guns they were just not an efficient design because the germans lost several decades of capital ship design like the song about the bismarck yeah it's fine it's fine. To be fair, well, well, yeah, but we're not talking about asterisks here. We were just saying what was what ships were were, were not good. The the Bismarck class was not a it was object uh, was like objectively not a good design. Uh, the Vanguard sucked because in th well, the Vanguard sucked not in that it was a bad design. But it was finished after the war. Never saw any act. Well, it saw active service and that it was commissioned, but it was never used. What are we doing? Uh, sorry, I we got we got to talk and I lost track of what we were doing. Fuck! I was designing that ship. Um, <laughs> sorry, I lost track of what we were doing. So we had. Oh, you know what we were doing is this. Uh, open design, add on those wing turrets. Hey, do we want to, do we want to make this a little funky? That's legal, right? Oh, that's a negative. People love to hate on the King George V. Excellent designs that most of the uh, limitations imposed on them. The King George, uh, the King George class ships, I think were perfectly fine. Um, they saw like a lot of people like to shit on them because they were like less combat effective than some people might have expected out of them. But it, the, the the problem with that is at the time when when they saw combat, they were kind of like on their shakedown cruises and they hadn't really worked out the kinks of a new ship. So that was like one of the issues that they had is that they hadn't really worked out the kinks. Um, uh, like for for instance, um, if I, I might be misquoting this, but during um, the battle with the Bismarck after the hood exploded, the Prince of Wales had to take a hard turn. It was the, I think it was the Prince of Wales, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't I don't remember all the specifics. Prince of Wales had to take a hard turn because she was second in formation right behind the hood. She had to take a hard turn to avoid the wreckage. And when she took the turn, 
she had uh, their the, their turrets had this uh, rotary shell loading system, where basically there was a ring of shells around in, you know in the barbet around the hoist to bring the shell up, so that it would rotate and then they would just ram a shell in and it would go up and then rotate, put the shell in and go up, rotate. So basically like a red a rotary ready rack for for her guns, which I think were 14 inches. Um, and when they took the hard turn, a shell fell out of the rotary system and jammed the turret. And it took them a long time to get it out of there. And, um, so, like, that, that was the situation. It was like, okay, well, we figured, we figured out what the problem is during our shakedown battle. You're supposed to figure out those problems before you're shooting at an enemy ship. But that was uh, that's why one of her turrets jammed, uh, was because a shell fell out of the hoist, basically, and jammed the whole fucking barbette. Well, the barbette's the armored sleeve, but you know what I mean. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna up ammo on these, because they were running out. And I think we are going to save this design. Ah, uh, not invented wing turrets for main batteries of great- wait. Didn't I? Or is there a, is it a separate tech for? Do I need a separate tech for um, cruisers? It might be a separate tech for cruisers. All right. So can I build this in the U.S.? I could. And they're they're happy with me right now. Or maybe I can steal the technology. Guardian. Yep, that's legal. I will make it legal. The Houston. Lame! Hopefully nobody steals my you know what we need we need to actually spend that down a little bit because we are in we are in danger territory of them confiscating my funds so I need to spend that down just a little USS oh did I did I mess up that design and we'll take a look at it in a second uh do 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 do, do. build a fort base 8 inch coastal battery in Castro Bay Build two. Build eight inch coastal battery in North Korea. Build two. Come more iced teas. I don't want more iced teas, honestly. Um, just put another fort or bay. Uh, just put in another coastal battery in most that sees a lot of action i just need it not to be in the positive for a little bit prime minister made a foreign policy gaffe We've got to take the prestige option um all right yeah you guys are right i uh these guys they, they have way more room to work with here so we can just put those back up to six inch guns and We'll leave it there. So rework it. Should only be a month, right? Yeah, a month rework. All right, uh, go to the build screen. We'll lay down four of those. That's very expensive, but we have the funds because we're going to be freeing up some soon. French are interested in, uh, in in selling us explosives. I will buy it. But we needed to spend the money down. So this is this is a good waste. You never want to let this go above about half of what your budget is. Oh, we can uh, put new fire control on the... Oh, you know what we can do? We put new fire control on all the Ikis. We got to keep them in service for a little while. All right. Uh, Germany, go fuck yourself. Ice tea. Woo! Uh, uh, and 
Isn't that the way it always goes? Enable secondary wing, uh, wing double turrets up to 10 inches. Take the zoom alts. Oh, that is that is like the king of the wasted money ship. Oh, they're oh, oh those are awful designs. Terrible ships. Awful, awful, terrible, awful ship. Also, these should all go back on reserve. Balance the budget in a sec here. There's the bit. There's the batteries popping off. The max about three grand off. There's the ice trin, and the ice t. Major foreign policy gaff. Budget prestige tension. Got to take prestige. That's that. We got to take the prestige option. Woo! Whoa! Did that piss off the Germans? All right, mobilize the fleet because they're getting a little antsy. Um, thankfully, we do have better ships to fight this time than last time. You didn't fancy just kicking some German ass? I, I did. Um, we might want to preemptively move a fleet down to Southeast Asia. The zoom alts are expensive because they were meant to uh, be like 20 plays, but they, they cut uh, the numbers of the price rose. That's true only to a point. The per unit cost was also wildly, wildly blown out of the budget. Not just the total cost of the group. The unit cost was also way too high. The crew cost was way higher than um, it was supposed to be. Uh, their guns aren't capable of firing because the ammunition is too expensive. Uh, they're, they all, well, they all both have horrible mechanical difficulties. They're... They are failures through and through, not just because they cut it from 20 to 2. And I will I would I would say the Vasa is a more successful ship than the Zubolts. Was the ammo like a million dollars per shell? Yeah, it was something insane like that. Uh because yes, the Vasa sank on its first time out, but now it's a museum, so it turns a profit. The zoom alts are nothing but money sinks. Well, yeah, like uh, one of one of the issues with the the zoom alts as well um, was that uh, one one of the one of the main benefits is that it was supposed to be significantly less crew than an Arleigh Burke, so that it was supposed to be cheaper and easier to run because it was supposed to have a much smaller crew. And then it turned out that that wasn't true. That the new Arleigh Burks reduced their crew size, like like the the, whatever the new model of them they they uh, came out with was, reduced the crew size by increasing automation, which meant that the new Arleigh Burks were a fraction of the cost of a Zubal, more effective, combat proven, and used about the same crew. So they just went, why continue building these expensive, horrible ships when we could just take the money, build more Arleigh Burks, and we get more ships that are more effective for less price. So, yeah. Well, we got some good ships building here, don't we? So we got the two Colonials. Those are cheap as shit. And we've got a... Honestly, this is a very nice armored cruiser for the time. Has the start of a new rule ways. Yeah, just started today. It's supposed to have rail guns mounted, so the navy, can but the navy canceled the rail gun. Rail gun pro. Were they supposed to have rail guns? I know. I. I. Like I, if I remember correctly, the only ships in the U.S. Navy that have the power power generation capable of powering a railgun are the ones with nuclear reactors on them. The Zumwalt's don't have nuclear reactors, so I I I don't remember if they were actually supposed to have railguns or not. But uh, I mean th that's that like even if whichever way that goes, that's kind of besides the point. The ships were failures through and through. They were failures through and through. I, I remember that article that came out about the, the shells for their, like, 155 millimeter guns or whatever they were. 
like the like the projected cost was like hundred and fifty thousand dollars per shell like that was the low cost one but then development ballooned up to like two million dollars a shell some ridiculous crap like that so they they installed the guns but they didn't have any ammo for them and they couldn't be retrofitted to fire regular ammunition so the guns couldn't f even fire at all they were they, they were failures but more importantly they were hideous 100% true. They're fugly. They were fugly as shit. Twelve inches, six inches, and three inches. Uh, I'm wondering if it's even worth refitting these for better fire control right now. Because they're not going to be in service for too long, but the it's, it's easy to do. Hey, Joe, Spy Joe, have sails, a coal engine, and a muzzle loaded can 18. You, you do know that that is not a real ship, right? That that was an April Fool's joke? <laughs> right? <laughs> fight you on that when they look cool as shit. Okay! That ship's ugly! I'll fight you! Oh, God. Um. Oh god, they're over now. They're even they're even overweight as is right now. Hang on. I don't even know if it'll let me. They might be too overweight. Yeah, they're too they're too overweight to even put on new fire control. Why even mount large guns? They don't really mount large guns on ships anymore. A 155 millimeter gun, which I think is what the Zumalts had, is a pretty small gun for a ship. Um, I mean, a lot of, a lot of ships usually have, uh, a lot of military ships have gun in, in that caliber range. Um, and it's normally for like fighting off small craft, something like that. U usually, usually just for, you know, like close in work. You know, most ships are firing, you know, missiles at miles, hundreds of miles away. Yeah, these ships it can't even do anything with. Air eight. So I can put 14 inch guns on a pre dreadnought now. I can't make a battleship. I'm stuck with pre-dreadnoughts. Uh, I'm I am going to move a fleet to Southeast Asia. Preemptively. Uh, do we improve the base there yet? We did. So let's give that another go. I don't know if it'll allow me to do a, uh, a surprise invasion of um, holdings that are outside my invasion range, but we could try. Uh, Prime Minister wants an international uh, naval gathering in Regatta. This is prestige, so we got to go with it. Sadly, oh, it reduced tensions, but not with the Germans. Good. Germany. Oh! Oh! Ultimatum, you say? <laughs> oh, we didn't, I don't think anything... I don't think anything uh, fancy happened. They don't have any ships over... They don't have... Oh, they don't... Oh, they, there's not a single ship on station! Or they also fired 10 rounds of it. Oh, yeah, like, I, I think someone calculated it, and, like, one of the Zumwalds firing at, uh, like, full rate of fire at the, the cost for their, per, the cost per shell for her guns would run through the entire Department of Defense budget for a year in, like, 40 minutes or something like that. It was crazy. I mean, they, they've got, they've got a, a, a thick, a thick line over there, but it's just not over here. Oh, uh, I do need to put those on trade protection. 
All right, before we get into this war, I'm going to take a really quick bio break, guys, and I'll be right back. Oh. Somebody came over to say hi on the way back. Uh, it's Theodora. There we go. Hey. Let me see if I we went on an excellent walk this morning. We were doing some training, and she did so good because she's so big. That's a good girl. That's my puppy. You guys have a paw? Yeah, that's your paw. Here you go. Thank you, sweetie pie. Oh, such a good puppy. Uh, I know somebody said they wanted to see Penny earlier, but when I went out there, Penny is literally upside down, feet up in the air, passed out sleeping. So I was like, ah, I'm going to leave her. Theo was up and about though. So we grabbed her. Alrighty. Uh, is English common in Sweden? Yeah, something like 98% of Sweden speaks English. Pretty much everybody. I don't think there's anything left else to do for preparing for this war. Can't wait to hug Theo. Oh, she loves giving hugs. She's the cutest thing. She puts both paws right on you and just kind of like boops your face. She gives the face boops. Or as they like to say in Sweden, boops. Hey, Puma, how you doing? Uh, all right, yeah, let's get to, good to go. I guess we wait for the Germans to show up. Oh, they, they sent some ships to the Mediterranean. Okay. Wait, why did it go up? I only have 12. Uh, well, I guess we'll just add on one destroyer. Should really get some uh, designated raiders. Suppressed here or there. Ah, oh, it's fine, Sophie Puma. You're fine. I, mean, I think after these ships pop, some of these ships pop off, maybe we'll build some designated raiders. We're getting we're getting guns. They're all of low quality, but we're getting guns. Hang on. Um. So we have access to... Yeah, we don't have any... The only plus one we have is the eights. But we do have access to 10, 11, 12, 13s, and 14s now. Just... Just out of curiosity. Can I get that on there? Put those in doubles? No problem, I can. Hey, Jub Jub! How you doing? Jump, jump. I can get 14 inch guns on a pre dreadnought, no problem. Room to spare. New rule. Of no, I just haven't played in a long time. Um, they, they, there was a DLC planned, but the 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 creator of the game had some personal stuff come up, so he kind of put development on hold. So I was just like, you know what? I uh, we'll just we'll just go ahead and play for a while. Get it back into the schedule. Why are you guys going up? Why do I need more trade protection? You will cause a trade protection. Are they sending anything over? Lame ass Germans. All right. Um. I hate to send my new light cruisers on on raiding expeditions because you never know when they're when when you know like the the fucking captain's gonna forget to fuel up on the way out and scuttle his ship instantly. Caspian sea monster count as a ship. That was a plane, kind of. These are brand new, kind of expensive. I really need purpose-built raiders. 
Uh, we need long range and reliable engines to really make, but we need, so we need long range and reliable engines to make them good raiders, which means we need to lose most everything else. Um, ugh. still overweight at 6,000 tons. It's still overweight with only two. Well, I guess we can knock it down to five inch guns. Still overweight. Ugh. Early Raiders are hard to make effective. Like, there's like nothing left to strip off. <laughs> I'm just looking over to the side. There's nothing left to rip off of it. <laughs> even if even if you put the, the guns in unarmored mounts. Today's background music. Parks of Iron 3. Take the belt arm. Can I take the belt armor off? No, if I take the belt armor off, it's an armed merchant cruiser. All right, I the only the only way to make it a, 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 an effective raider is to basically strip it down to its skelly bones, and and then it's an effective raider. Raiders don't need a lot of guns. They don't need torpedoes. They need speed and reliability. Probably need three or four inch guns. Ra Raiders don't don't see combat. They they are off screen modifiers. Make it U.S. Oh god, I I probably could. Oh, I could to make it smaller. Or or to try to get some of that armor back on. <laughs> oh god. At least give it armored mounts. Yeah, yeah, the US has much better engine tech. It's actually pretty cheap. Can it help with fuel? Yes, it does. Alright, we'll give it a couple guns so that it could try to fight off enemies. And then we'll knock it down 500 tons. Almost an even 1,000 ducats to build. Free fire control. Not, not necessary on a raider. Oh, uh, no. We gotta name him. Hate to build them in the US, but maybe I can steal some of their sexy engine tech. Really coastal subs. Ah, they got to They got to Wait, they sent them. Well, I guess they got merchants up in Europe. New docks completed. Up side drums, one percent weight saving on machinery and AP projectile um, improvement for more damage on penetrating hits. Oops. What the fuck did I do to this? What the? Why does this look different? It's weirding me out. I don't know what I did, but this is looking different now. This looks... Ah. Other options under engine priority. Normal, speed, and reliability. Speed makes your engine smaller, but more prone to break breakdowns. Reliability makes them bigger and less prone to breakdowns. Normal's normal. All right, uh, build four of those. Yeah, Yeah, I'll be okay to do that. Hey, blimps. Actually, a really lame war. Literally nothing's happened for nine months. Nine 
Normally they're... Normally they're more than willing to come over and fight. But they're not going to. Um... I don't have the reliability or the the bases to go to Ger to go to Germany to fight them, and, nor and normally they will be willing to come over. And I'm not in within invasion range of anybody. There's nothing I can invade. Uh, I I think what we're just gonna do is send out some ships on raiding expeditions and hope they don't sink. So, let's do Northern Pacific, Central Pacific, Southern Africa, South Pacific, Southeast Asia, Indian Ocean, West Africa. Sending out seven 6,000 ton cru cruisers, and we're going to hope for the best. Army wants more resources. Uh, I just spent all of my money, so no. All right, all right, all right. Then they're starting to do some things. Ha ha! <laughs> 20 points! One. This is the lowest like level of conflict I've ever seen in a war. I've never seen the AI flat out refuse to leave to come to come to you. <laughs> Latest army offensive turned into a stalemate. There we go, four, four. Ooh, US is putting out battle cruisers, early battle cruisers. It's basically just a, uh, a an up engine pre dreadnought. Low armor, very low armor, because you need to put it all into engine spaces. All right, there we go, seven. All right, we're up on points now. Oh, they got a little fleet coming. They're, they're starting to send some ships out. Ah, damn. <laughs> Tell just oh I'm not allowed to do this one because I've got a prestige option here so I have to take the prestige option. Yeah, let's spy on the Yermans here. Studies of enemy ships have helped our research in light uh, forces of torpedo warfare. I can build bigger destroyers now, but I don't have double mounts for torpedoes yet, so there's not much improvement I can make on them other than add on another knot or two. I just spread spread those cruisers out. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. And the, these are big bins. These are not those lame ass uh, um, legacy ships. So I've got more. They've got more speed and more guns. Oh, is that an armored cruiser? Oh no, it's just okay. <laughs> You cannot run from me, Bremen. Maybe you can. I don't know. No, you cannot. All right, we'll get within range. Can you get the anti-submarine rating to go up? Uh, I mean, the only way to do that right now would be to, to assign more destroyers. She knew she couldn't get away. There we go. Well, I haven't landed with a six-inch shell yet. Firing four on a broadside. Oh, no. I'm sorry. The fives? Yeah, we put fives on there, not sixes. Because our sixes are bad quality. Come on. So we got a three-gun... Uh, yeah, we got three guns firing on the front. Probably only two, depending on the angle. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. 
I don't want to. I don't want to get too close to the uh, like the port quarter, or the um, the aft quarter, and get um, torpedoed. Couple hits. Couple hits. Yeah, there we go. Starting to lay them in now. Light damage, 20 knots. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Again, don't want to get hit by a torpedo. There we go. Couple hits. She's still she slowed down, but she's still looking all right. This will be like a thousand victory points if we sink her. I'm a little bummed I don't have like high quality six inch guns for my cruisers because uh, a six inch gun packs a wallop on a light cruiser. But I mean, with with negative one quality six inch guns, they wouldn't be very effective right now anyway. Two hits. Looks like we've destroyed three of her guns. Mate, no, that one's not destroyed. Heavy damage, 10 knots. I could pull up alongside as long as I stay out of torpedo range, but with accuracy low right now. I mean, it does help that we have central firing, right? Where is that? Central firing. Increase accuracy there. Well, Bremen's definitely not getting away. As, as long as I don't do something stupid and get torpedoed. As long as we stay in front of her. Yeah, there's a good salvo. Heavy damage. Or, or you know, just at at a at an you know oblique angle. All right, fifty percent ammo remaining. Come on, it's the weakest gazelle. She's all fucked up. Most of her guns are out. She didn't even have. She's at five knots now. Most of her guns, or none of her guns, even have turrets. I don't even think they have gun shields. So I'm sure splinters have cut down the crew. Low quality shells. Come on, Bremen. You know you want to die. Doo doo. Boop, boop, boop. Here, I'm gonna, this is a bad idea, but I'm gonna try. Oh, I forgot I got a snoot torpedoes on this guy. Ooh. Hang on, I got a snoot torpedo. Hey, <laughs> woo! No, she sank. She took a lot of hits, almost 50. Ah, oh, from flooding. So we must have hold her. All right, all right, no, that's good. 500 victory points. The new ship Guardian built in the US has given us valuable insights into US machinery development technology. That's exactly what I wanted. Steal their goddamn engines. Raiders damaged and interred. We knew that would happen. Enemy sent us out about, uh, 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 sent out feelers through neutral nations about a negotiate peace without border changes. No. No!
Well, we got our new cruisers. And bigger destroyers again. All right, get everybody reserved. Uh, these are all, this is all messed up. Um, let's make sure these guys go to foreign station for me. Really need double torpedo mounts is what I need. <sighs> Fuck me. All right, so we got the designated raiders coming. Well, we have to make a decision about what to do about our capital ships. We have excellent cruisers. These ones specifically are quite good for the time. Um, but we've got all of these, which are horrible. And I would like to hold out for battleships. But I can't make a good battleship. What I can make is a way too large pre-dreadnought. Is that legal? Ugh. It's legal. I will make it legal. Clear the mounts off of this, actually. Um. Well, I gotta get four. I gotta get these fourteen-inch guns into the fleet. I've gotta get larger ships built to replace those Ikis because those are legacy ships. But we, oh god. As a rule of thumb, I do not like building ships above, like capital ships above 20,000 tons with no torpedo protection, but we have no torpedo protection available, and right now, we're, doesn't look like we're gonna get it. And I can only do wing turrets up to 10 inches in caliber, right? Yep, yeah, doesn't even give me the option. Okay. It's just a really thick pre-dreadnought then. All right, 22 knots is going to have to be the speed. Which means I got 454 tons to put into armor and ammo. Turkish using case. Yeah, those are fine. I don't think it really makes much of a difference what you do with these. I think the only thing they do is take up deck space that could go to other things, so casements are fine. Matters more on secondary guns, but on tertiaries, meh. <sighs> yeah, we'd actually make it smaller to save on money, because it's kind of got everything I want on it. We just make it smaller. Why does it have horns? Um... For reasons. What a what a weird superstructure. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, I can knock it down to twenty one. I can take a thousand tons off of it. All right.
This is a bad idea. Cup for Ah, well. Now we just pass time. Uh, for now, uh, I, I'd love four. New run? Yeah, we just started a day. Um, but that's, that's ten, that, that, that's double my budget right now. We're gonna free up, well, that'll put me at about, it's about 10,000. I've got about 5,000 available and I'm gonna free up about 4,000 soon. So we could just have a, if the, if the politicians free up some cash, this'll work. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it down, run a negative balance, and hope the politicians bail, bail me out later. Shondor, welcome. Jub Jub, welcome to the fleet. And Starris, good to have you. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to remember to do this. There we go. Sure, everybody's on reserve. Everyone's offering to sell us the basic weight control. Yes, we are all fat over here. Valuable in. Yes, keep stealing shit from the United States. Which the Navy found that ship is surpassing. Oh, look at that. The, um, those, that, that actually makes those better raiders because faster ships are better at intercepting enemy transports and better at getting away from enemy counter raiders. That actually worked out well. German government is offering to sell me capped AP projectiles. I'll buy, I'll buy anything. AP penetrator improvement. New cruiser from France arrived on a goodwill visit. Well, I hate the French, so... Budget up, prestige down. Or prestige up, tension up. That's, we gotta take that one. Alright, we're balancing the budget, kind of. Yeah, so these guys popped out at 25 knots. Makes them more effective raiders. Oh! Boom times. Strengthen Navy. Uh, budget. Okay, so this is a prestige one, so we got to take the prestige one again. All right, we're at 198 right now. Oh, budget increase my ass. That was nothing. Fuckers. It's like getting a raise at less than inflation. The prestige. We just decided uh, this time to take all prestige options and see what would happen. Hey, double bottoms. All right, so we've got less than two years before we're insolvent. How many of these are in service? 11. I can scrap three without anybody yelling at me to save money. And you know what? Uh, mothball the rest of them. Fuck them. Wait, where is it? Oh, I got you one. Fuck me. I left this guy on foreign service from a long time ago.
Improve quality three inch guns. I don't really use three inch guns, but I'll take it. Better explosives for increased shell damage. All right, mothball this thing. All right, that helps a little. All right, well, I got five th thick ships coming. Uh, wants to sell us subdivision and damage control, control technology. Yeah, yeah, that's not destroying my budget. Come on, politician, save me. I've approved too much funding for the Navy. You have to bail me out. Oh, yeah, we should lower this, too. Oh, oh, yeah, six grand. Upheaval in Greece. Italy is setting a force. Ooh. No concern of us. Push for international. Now, ah, let's tell them to fuck off. Huh, they actually did. What is it, in invasion range? Uh, there's a couple things. Russia. I think there might be some France and UK. Counterintelligence believe US has stolen, stolen tech. Oh, I was about to say, what the fuck are they stealing from me? Their tech is way better than mine. I do have good torpedoes. Prestige down. So I, I, so this is, this is a prestige down. So this one is a, a, uh, is a higher prestige option. So I got to take this one. U.S. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything U.S. at invasion range. Uh, it's right now it's Russia and the U.K. and that's it. Yeah, that's it. U U U.S. U.K. and and Russia is all I got. Well, the be the budget's just about balanced. Now I can build a battleship. One third of the way into the construction of these pre-dreadnoughts, I can build a battleship. Oh god, I don't have the money to be spending on this. Come on! Yes! British are offering to sell uh, submarine stuff I'll say no to. Range calculator for more accuracy. 1% weight saving on turrets. And, and I'm, I'm keeping the spying low because I'm broke. And for, and for so... Let me finish that thought. And for some reason, the Secretary of the Navy is paying for the CIA. <laughs> well, there's the torpedo protection. Uh, do the other countries have different advantages and disadvantages? Yes. Uh, most of the countries in the game um, have uh, like asymmetrical starts. They have more or less money, different technology boosts. They start with different technologies. Um, some have access to oil, some don't, things like that. So yeah, most, most of them are slightly different. Well, I would, I would punch a baby right in the face for double torpedo tubes right now. Torpedo aiming system. Uh, that's actually a subtech, so I'll, t I'll say no to that. Right, they're bu Germany's building battleships. Beowulf is rude to be carried. 12-inch guns. Oh! U.S. has invented steam turbines. Their engines are so far superior to mine. Steam turbines are a huge step up in engine technology. Italians are interested in buying stuff. Actually, yes, I will sell them weapons. Because I'm broke. So, oh! Oh, it's like they're trying to hurt me. So, I laid down these five capital ships with only two turrets. I can get five turrets on a ship now. That's a B turret. That's not even an X turret. That's better. <laughs> and improved quality 12 inch guns.
So if we wanted to line up a ship right now, wait, where's my B turret? Did I just get bamboozled? Did you fuck? Did you fuckers just bamboozle me? Where's my goddamn B turret, you fucks? There's no other center line turrets listed on there. Ah, well. Yes! Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, I don't have any money. Um, but now I can build much better destroyers. Because we went up two destroyer sizes. Don't have three center. Well, normally you get three center lines with the superimposed turret. Normally, as soon as you got the superimposed turret, you can get the set. You got X more center lines. But like in that instant, it didn't even show because you're allowed to put turrets on the the ship that are not legal. Uh, but it didn't show uh, the superimposed turret even on the list of of turrets there. All right. All right. All right. Um. Too many. Oh, fuck you. Uh, all right. Well, six is still good. It's more than the two we have. Uncramp it. Knock those up to fives. I don't think I'm allowed to put mine sweeping gear on a destroyer, right? Oh, no, I can. It's just 50 tons. Yeah, there's not enough room for that. Uh, we'll go... Rate this for speed. Can I, if I rate it for speed, can I get another knot out of her? Maybe. That's fine. I will build two. <laughs> I need a lot of them, but I don't have any money right now. The hunt, like a hundred percent of the budget is being uh, dumped into building these obsolete things. But I, they, I, all the technology I got that was interesting popped a third of the way into construction. So I'm not throwing that away. They're getting finished. Docks are getting big. Oh, oh okay. That balanced the budget. Uh, improved quality six inch guns. It's nice to have. Yes, battleship scare threat from Russia persuades Parliament to authorize additional funding. Uh, U.S. government is offered to sell us the rights to turn in gun mounting mechanical shell handling. That's a rate of fire improvement. I will take it. They, uh, pro prove those additional funds just in time. Uh, Major Armfer wants to enter a tech sharing room with the U.S. Actually, uh, I, I'm kind of in favor of that, even though it lowers tensions. Because they have some amazing technology. Hopefully it doesn't reduce budget, too. 245. All right, now we're okay. Cruiser from Great Britain arrived on a goodwill, goodwill visit. Um, let's see. We got a prestige option. We do have a, a prestige option. 1% weight saving on machinery. Good. Tantalizingly close to inventing th uh, 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 three center line turrets. Got f batteries not, in like chat said, batteries not included technology for the United States. You would have a superimposed B turret. I'm not going to tell you how to get it on there, though. Cross deck. Oh, the U.S. is has all the cool technology. Cross deck fire is available now. There's three center line turrets. Not gonna be able to fit those on there. Now it's available. Okay, Y, G, J, and doubles, cross deck fire. Uh, actually, that's pretty close to 
I might be able to make that work. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got 26,000 tons available. And we got almost, I can almost make that work. Up to, that, that's my maximum displacement. Uh, but my docks are uh, are going to be... I've got a, a dockyard expansion done in three months. Guarantee a victory over Russia. Obviously. Torpedoes do more damage. Did you have good quality 12s? I do have better quality 12s. But right now, what's more important is getting as many 14-inch guns into the fleet. Because 14-inch guns are much more future-proof than a 12-inch gun. Because right now, 12-inch guns are great. But in 10 or 20 years, they're going to be obsolete as shit. Now, was that a 1 or a 2,000 ton expansion? For quality 4-inch guns, I do use those a lot. That was a 3,000-ton expansion. Oh, boy, are we going to do a thing. All right, all right, all right. First things first. Reserve these, guys. How many... Can I scrap all these? Or will they object? They will object. Um. All right, we can wait. I need more of these modern destroyers before anything else. Can you downside the, the twin 14s and triple 12s? I don't have access to triples right now, and that still is the as the problem of, yeah, the 14-inch guns are heavier and they're negative one quality, but they're future-proof. Much more so than the others. All right. Uh, well, let's design a fuck-off battleship. A proper fuck off 29,000 ton battleship. All right. Uh, I'll change the armor after we get the armaments on it. So let's fill the casements with five inch guns. And A, B, Y, G, J. It's a little heavy. The, ar the armor's not really where what I want to see. It's a little, little, little thin. Real thin. Um. And the rounds per gun's at ninety. All right. Uh. So if we want a more manageable amount of armor. We need to free up 2,000 tons. All right, the cross deck fire might be asking. Wait, 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 wait. We'll knock the caliber down to fours because those are quality one. That saves some weight. If I knock the wing guns down to singles, remove one of the wing turrets. You you're not allowed to you're not allowed to have one on one side and none on the other. <laughs> Make the ship a little unbalanced. I'm I kind of love it, frankly. And that almost gets me there. Can knock the belt extended down. And that is legal. Legal.
Hey, Col Colonist wa wanted to reserve himself a battleship and he got himself a battle. He better fucking be in chat still. <laughs> New Herbates. Uh, Staris, Shondor, two destroyers. French battleship, the St. Louis. Thin on the armor. A little slow, too. Curly baffled by triple. Well, we just figured out double. And the last last one of these is almost done. Selling the rights to mechanical shell handling by all means. Didn't I buy that already? Wait, I could have sworn I already bought that technology. Bless you! Alright, how many do I got in service? So I got seven. Alright, so I can scrap most of these now. They want if you if you scrap it down to eight eight or lower, they get mad. So I got the iced teas, and then I've got the cup for draches, and soon we're gonna have the colitises. Oh, I sold that to them. Oh, they wanted. Oh, okay. They were just so, oh selling the rights to fifteen-inch guns. The only way I could get fifteen-inch guns onto those ships would be to reduce the number of turrets. I'm happy with 14s. Oh, God damn it. No! Protest. You can't take my money right now. That might save me a fair bit on engines. I have 200 tons. Do you need the wing turrets? Uh, they're cool. Thank you very much. I miss my wing turrets. <laughs> I miss my wing turrets. Okay, so we're looking at eight. It's an eight gun broadside Do of it. 14 inch guns or a six gun broadside of 15 inch guns. It's on, honestly, it's a better design. Does so it need to go that fast? At this stage, that's, yeah. All right, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to up these to sixes, and we're going to put them in doubles. Not develop. Didn't I? Could have sworn I had. All right, I guess we'll leave them in casements for now, then. Power just fluctuated. Wait, do you say if you reduce the turret top to two inches? thin turret tops once you get once you're talking about like battleships because you never know when a shell two inches of armor is really low like a six inch shell lobbed at max distance can go through the top of a turret at two inches you're lucky all right well now we got 700 tons to work with in fact i'd like to up armor that The, yeah, 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 yeah. That's better. That 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 a little a little bit of armor around that makes me feel a little bit better. Rebuild it. They don't have plunging fire yet, right? Well, pl plunging fire is just a shell that is fired at a long range. It's not a technology you need to unlock. 
It's just a shell that is fired at a long range for whatever caliber of gun you're firing. So, plunging fire is a thing the day the game starts. It depends on if you can land a hit at that range. What, what do you say we design, uh... Two classes of battleships. One for, for, for large caliber, one for number of guns. We can make that work. fast 12 inch bb whenever i'm building battleships i always rate them for the same speed um because all all battleships have a chance to fire in uh to, to spawn into battle in line with each other so if you have a class of battleships rated for 22 knots and you have a class of battleships rated for 26 knots there's a high probability that they will fire they, they will find themselves in a line of battle together and will have to go at the speed of the slower ships so a lot of times the fast battleships won't ever be using their speed. So you'll be spending a lot of money to get that extra speed, but a lot of times you won't be in a position to be able to effectively use it. Okay. Let's start, let's start working her. Uh, we have access to up to 29,000 tons. Hmm. Similar armor. Oh, I put an extra uh, an extra doodle on the deck there. That's where most of it went. Oh, we don't even have torpedo projection on. It's all the weight and shells, probably, and the extra turrets are are killing it. Even with 12-inch guns. Double forward firing wing turrets. The thing about the wing turrets is that um, there's almost no prop possibility of being able to fire both at the same time. Because generally speaking, you're going to be... Because they have a very specific, like, arc. Uh, so generally speaking, you're going to be never approaching the enemy at, like, a dead zero angle. Because you're going to be moving, they're going to be moving. So usually one turret will not be in the arc. I think what we'll do is wait a few months and see if we get some technologies to fire. That'll help out. Selling us the rights to... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Weight saving on armor. Couple of weight, cu couple of armor techs there. Gotta watch this though. No thanks for torpedo. Our aiming system, rework the design. Another another two hundred tons. It's gonna keep happening, isn't it? You know what? We're just going to build the ship as is. Otherwise, we're going to run into that that problem. Really should have built three, but I don't like building them in odd numbers. So I need to replace those shitty fucking pre-dreadnoughts. Do it.
dirty. Funny fire only seems relevant when they are accurate long range guns or RNGs fails. Well, yeah, I mean, you never know when RNGs is going to happen, but also you have to remember that when you're building, like, these ships I'm building right now, these actual battleships, they can easily stay in service for 20 years or 30 years. Right now, yes, they're, they're, the ships do not have, there, there's a very low probability of a accurate shell coming in at a long distance, hitting the top of the turret and penetrating. But, in the future, there is a much higher probability of that happening. And it, does, and, and it could still happen now. Um, turret tops are really not that heavy either. Well, like a deck is really heavy. A turret top is not that heavy. Um, so giving turret tops a little bit of armor is usually a pretty easy and cheap way of future-proofing yourself. And while you can rebuild turret armor later, it's very expensive. Russia has a majority of their ships on active status. Do we have a prestige option here? Tell them to, yeah, let's do this question mark one. Send a note suggesting they reduce their stance. Put some of their large ships on. Oh, they actually did it. I didn't expect them to do that. Selling us the rights to diving planes. Nope. God, prestige is actually really high for this early into the game. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, you're killing me! Steam turbines! <laughs> Hang on! Hang on! Let's, let's see something. How much of a weight that should have been a... Oh, okay. Is it worth... Is, is it worth it for 300 tons to scrap them and rebuild them? It's not... I mean, I mean, we already had like 180 tons before. So it wasn't that big of an improvement. So I'm going to say no, it's not worth it. Um, what might be worth it though is something like this. Yeah, I could get... Can I get two more knots out of her? Yeah, I, I can get my all my light cruisers up two knots uh, for only 10, 10 million a pop. Um, when did those destroyers pop off? Oh, like right now. Um, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Let's do that right now. Do it. So replace their machinery. Get two extra knots out. Uh, replace the four inch guns and save that. That's going to drop me into the negative for a while, but destroyers are popping off. Agent caught in France, make him a hero. Russian battleships, 10, 12 inch guns. Eight, looks like a lot of nations have been doing thin armor. Eight and a half inches. I need more destroyers too. Dive no, everybody wants to be diving planes. I don't want them. They're quality 11 inch guns. All right, uh, I got seven months. Very close. It's very close to being insolvent, but we can make it. As long as I don't take a budget hit, we're fine. Yeah, so the, these guys right here, we're going from two torpedoes to six torpedoes, and they're in double mounts. So theoretically, we should try to replace all of these. Uh, we can keep them around for anti-submarine warfare, but submarines aren't that big of an issue yet. So it might be better to just get rid of them and replace their spot, their, you know, their spot on the line with better destroyers. So, just out of curiosity, if we go back to this design. Uh, 
A, B, G, Y, J, J Y. Um, well, we can, we have more. We were at 29,000 tons before, and we were like... Something like this. We can make it work now. There is there is room now with those uh, those armor and the steam turbines. We can get a ten gun broadside on twelve inch guns. On a design like this, I mean, we do have more room to work with because the docks went up fifteen hundred tons too. So we could even go up even more, and we can put more armor on or some more ammo. So we can get ten guns onto a ship. Uh, we can't get a ship with a 10-gun broadside without too much issue now. That's good. All right, but I am out of time for today, so I'm going to wrap it up here, and we'll continue this tomorrow. We'll finally get some battleships um, commissioned to the Navy, and not just these. I don't even know what to fucking do with these. I mean, wh what I can say about them is that they are armed with 14-inch guns, and they have the speed to stay in the battle line. So they can stay around for a bit. But anyway, see you all next time, friends. Bye-bye.